Lovely. Hello everybody, Israel Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. Yeah, another one. Today, I'm excited. Get to play the Progetto 65. See how it plays and why this tank is still, after many years, a fantastic tier 10 vehicle. And uh, one which if you don't have, I still I still recommend a lot. It's it's a very nice tank. And I think a lot of players enjoy it for sure. What if lights went off, huh? Anyways, uh, well, you guys are confusing me in chat. By the way, hello to everybody in chat. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to this stream and happy Friday or even Saturday, depending on what part of the world you're in. We got Endman, Captain, Jack, Trath, uh, yeah, <laughs> Yutao, Ominous, Ibi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Great having you as always. Please do smash that like button. Very much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bobby, come here. Come on, Bobby. Let, let, let's let's get, let's get some Bobby on the screen. Come here, Bobby. There. Say hi to the screen. Hi. Say hello. Hello. Hello, screen. Hi, chat. Okay. There we go. Ah, claw stuck in my shirt. That's why all of my shirts have holes in them. And I'm not even kidding. Her claws always get snagged in my shirt. But there you go. Bobby is um currently trying to ruin my iPad in vengeance of me picking her up off the floor when she was sleeping. But uh, there you go. A little bit of Bobby action to start things off with. Since I'm starting a bit early, may as well. You can see what the Bobby is up to, which is intently trying to eat my apple pencil, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what she's doing. Fantastic, Bobby. Anything else you would like to contribute to- No, don't eat my iPad! What are you doing? Who said you could chew my iPad? The pencil, maybe. Not the iPad. That's worth way more than the pencil. Okay, here. Oh, oh now you're gonna chew the camera. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. As you can see, Bobby is in a bit of a excited mood right now. She just woke up from a nap, so maybe that's why she's a little energetic. But there you go. Gus- <laughs> Her winter coat is shedding. I am so covered in fur. You don't understand. Oh, it's all on my nose and everything. <laughs> on my mic, too. Okay. Um, anyhow, distractions aside, let's put the camera back to where it should be. Let's discuss the good old Progetto 65, which was also a very requested stream recently, so I'm happy to finally get around to it. This tank is great. Not quite as good as it was on release. Oh my gosh, on release Progetto, that tank was so good. It's still pretty good right now, and it has had some recent changes, I believe, since I last streamed it. It was like a change to the reload configuration. I think they nerfed the turret armor a little bit, but the hull armor is still really good. So, what is the tank packing? It's packing an auto-reloader gun, so one of the only two tier 10 meds with that. Um, base DPM is just under 2900, 3 second intra-clip reload, and you can see the DPM profile here for shells 1, 2, and 3 as they load individually with under five seconds for the third shell so it has a pretty decent gun there's no stupid reserve shell mechanic so fantastic even though you only have three shells you don't have to worry you can dump your third shell and only take you seven and a half seconds basically to get it back so that's a w uh three shells of magazine pretty standard stuff 252 ap pen 319 on the heat that's assuming you're running calibrated which on like basically all all auto loaders auto reloaders you should run calibrated you have to make every shot count a lot more in these types of vehicles so calibrated is the way to go it's not like you have rammer anyways um 350 alpha also pretty standard nine degrees of gun depression very solid that means you can work in a lot of terrain so overall pretty good gun the only maybe inconsistency with the gun is the accuracy can be a little troll at times so at distance and taking snapshots you might notice you're missing more shells than you would expect but medium to close range the gun works quite fine, and as an autoloader, quite often you want to position yourself to get those shots out. So, let's look at what else the tank is hosting. 120 millimeters of turret armor and 60 on the front of the hull. Now, it sounds like 60 is like bad, like, oh no, 60 millimeters. It's actually really good. The angling of the Progetto's upper plate is extreme. So, if you run the enhanced armor equipment, plus have that 60 millimeters of heavily angled armor, you actually have an auto ricochet angle quite often, even... Um, 120 millimeter guns can struggle to pen it on flat ground sometimes. Obviously, big old TD guns can pen it more often, but you will be surprised how many ricochets you can get from the Progetto's upper plate. Of course, it doesn't really matter when you're hauled down because the turret's pretty easy to pen frontally, except for the mantlet and some weird angles on the side. It is pretty penable on the turret, so not the most reliable armor profile, but you look at those troll ricochets and sometimes those come in very, very clutch. Okay, let's keep discussing. Mobility-wise, tank goes... 58. So it's quite speedy, actually. It's a lot faster than most of your tier 10 meds with a 58 top speed. 
and 23 in reverse. 23 in reverse. That is such good mobility. Anything that exceeds a 20 kilometer an hour reverse speed is going to feel so much more comfortable to play because you can back out of scenarios a lot faster. So great on the mobility. Um, decent enough reverse speed. Decent enough power to weight. It doesn't, it's not a light tank. It doesn't accelerate zero to 58 in an instant, but you know, once it gets cruising, it cruises pretty well. So you, you add on top of that, the nice punchy three shot auto reloader, the somewhat troll armor here and there, nine degrees of gun depression, and you have just a very well-rounded package. And that's why for so many years, the Progetto has just been loved. And I fully agree with that. Let's jump into some battles. <laughs> You're forgetting the Minerato. I don't want to think about the Minerato. That's why. There's no way Wargaming doesn't. Uh, the moment they give fourth, they'll definitely do the reserve shell. I hope they don't give it a fourth. I think the prog is very good with a three shell scheme, personally. <laughs> three auto reloaders in fatness. I'm pretty sure I said it's one of the only two auto reloading meds in tier 10. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I said it's one of the only two auto reloading meds because if we're talking about auto reloaders, then that would also include the Kranwagen, in which case there's more than that. There's more than just the Karo, the Kran, the Progetto, the Minerato, right? So I was talking about medium tanks there. That's why I didn't say Minerato. All right, let's jump right on into it. Okay. First game. Enemy have a TVP Object 84 and a Kampfpanzer. Kampfpanzer could be slightly problematic to deal with in a hold on scenario. I should be a little bit faster than him. Okay, let's put a quick shot towards him. Sadly missing. They both missed me though, W. Now, they have a lot of kind of haul down tank destroyers, so you definitely want to watch out for that. Let's put a heat shell into this Kampf Panzer, and that's where the auto reloader mechanic is. And okay, see where that 268 is? I would usually pull up to like right here because they have a 268 in grill. I'm going to hug the inside a little bit more. That way they don't have as much of a shot on the side of my turret when making those pokes. Something to be aware of when you are playing a position like this. Try not to overextend there too much. Let's put another shot into the TVP. Didn't really need the heat there, but I'm not trying to overextend and get myself nuked for no reason. Okay, there's the grill, there's the T30, there's the 268. 268 might have pulled back in, so I'm going to take it ever so slightly easy for now. Let's put a heat shell towards this Kampf Panzer and pull back. And yeah, we're just using this as a single shot right now, right? So four and a half seconds plus three seconds of the interclip means it takes me about seven and a half seconds to reload if I use it as a single shot. Not the best base DPM in that regard, but at least I don't have to reload a magazine each time I want to deal damage. All right. TVP has rotated out. How interesting is that? So there's the Kampfpanzer. Let's put another shot towards this turret there. There we go. 375 on the heat there. TVP is pushing down below a little bit here. I don't know if he's going to pressure my allies or not. It does not appear to be the case. And the 268 is starting to rotate in just a bit as well. I'm going to prioritize the 268. He's a more dangerous tier 10 tank destroyer in my eyes. And we do still have to keep an eye out on that dude over there. So my teammates are kind of getting griefed a little bit over here. Our E4 has already been toasted. Uh, VK-72 is okay. Honestly, I'm gonna have to go push. Wow, we are down four to zero. Lovely, lovely, lovely team. All right, you can see the dispersion on the move is definitely not the best. Hopefully this WZ comes in to support me here. Hopefully this dude also doesn't quite pen me as easily. I'm not gonna overextend too much here, but we now have three shells loaded in, which will be more than enough to clear this player out here. There we go, another shot in there. We should be able to clear him, no problem. Awesome, so using the auto reloader to do that and pull him back from that gorilla. Unfortunately, my commander's dead. And our WZ just yellowed in when he absolutely did not need to. I don't know why he did that. Uh, this, this game's over. This game is long over. Let me just load in one more magazine to get a few more shots out and then call quits. And this grill is really determined to shoot at me. My goodness. You know what? I don't really care, grill. I'm gonna go kill you. Oh, the high roll. Let's go. Nice little high roll there. 57 in the open. Ah, I missed my snapshot. That's a bit unfortunate. And uh, yeah, that's just game over. It's what we refer to as a game being Jover. Ooh, 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 ooh. One shot. Maybe I could pick up a clear on this dude here. Nice. So I'm going to have to run away from the T30 and the 57 here. And the... T oh, the object's got me. One more shot. Oh, let's go. We got the troll ricochet. Oh, let me rotate out. Let me rotate out. Let me rotate out. Okay, 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 okay. Please don't kill me. Ah! <laughs> okay. So I did what I, I could there. I was the only player on my team to pick up a single kill. And I did deal 4,000 damage in the end. That troll Progetto angled armor got me that one ricochet I needed to break the 4k. So 4,100 damage dealt. I did fine. I held corner no problem. Um, my team. Oh boy. Oh, that's a great start. But anyways, yeah. Well, you can definitely see the strength of the Progetto. I think that covered all bases, right? Nine degrees of gun depression was able to work the corner pretty well. When you aim in at medium to close range, the gun is fairly accurate. Auto reloader is great for a scenario like that, especially when you need to push in to pick up a kill. And on movement accuracy is pretty, pretty atrocious. As you saw when I was trying to push up on the comp fencer, the dispersion is just like, ah. Um, 
But that's what makes the tank good, right? Even with a team that bad, I was still able to pull out 4,000 damage there. And unfortunately, we did not win. Maybe I should have pushed the Kampfpanzer the moment I saw the TVP rotate out. Probably would have been a better play for me to make there and give my team a higher chance at winning. But I'm going to be honest, we were basically lost three tanks for free there. There was, there was very low chance we were going to win that. We were just down so early on into the game. All right, so we have a lot of Bashatian approaching. Let's put a quick shout towards them. Bashatian upper plate doing troll things. That's a bit unfortunate. I could have sworn his upper plate was going to be facing down when I fired that, but just barely hitting some weird auto ricochet angle. And my teammates are kind of going down here. And as they're going down, I'm not super eager to overextend and get myself nuked here. Now, enemy bash shot Dion is maybe thinking of pulling out here. Sadly, the uh, Sheridan's turret kind of blocked any shots I could have had there. An the enemy team see seemed to be very clearly having an overmatch over on this side. I'm going to wait for my camo to maybe start resetting, and then we can start dealing with tanks like the 60 TP here, who is definitely a little bit overextended. And I'm just going to load up a heat shell for the upper plate. I'd rather pen a shot right now than waste my time. All right, another heat shell. Wow, okay, that's a bit unfortunate. E100 finally joining us on the hill, and the Batch and E4 are both in Narnia, so that's good to know. All right, I'll have to watch out for those TDs, but if we can start clearing out the 60 TP, that would be very beneficial for my teammates. So, that's like precisely what I'm going to do here. Let's put one shot to the back of the 60 TP, and then I'm, I'm actually going to pull back and reload here. There we go. I'm glad I did that. I had a feeling someone else was going to be up on the corner of the hill there. Just me and E100 and 62A now. We're going to have to hold this corner together. Hopefully, the E100 doesn't dip on us completely, because his support will be extremely vital throughout the rest of this game here so quick shot towards the 60 tp's turret no i fluffed it that was a bad shot on my part nothing else to it all right mr 60 tp quick shot to the hatch there we go so at close quarters combat we're not having too many issues shooting this dude in the hatch here there we go quick clear on his tank nice my teammates are actually kind of gaming over here fortunately their heavies have not played this very well uh, the CCTP took a really bad crossing up the hill, got nuked for it. This E6 is overextending onto me and an E100 here. And me and this E100 can make short work of him momentarily. I'm just going to start pushing up a little bit. I'm going to maybe not push up all the way because the Leo. So let's put a quick shot to this Leo here. Another shot. There we go. Two shots into Mr. Leo there. I'm going to pull back. That way I can just reload fully before I continue the pressure. And we know where the grill's positioning too. Oh, actually, you know what? This grill might give me a free shot here. So let's take it. Aim that one in thoroughly. There we go. Good stuff. And our E100 is YOLOing in, so I'm going to go right till I reload two or three more shots and then just push in. Now, I'll wait till I have three. It's only going to take me an extra four seconds to get three shells here. Then I can help our poor friend in the E100 here. Very nice. All right, one more shot. Oh, okay. Well, I just suck at this. One more shot. The 62A will probably have the clear. Me being the damage greedy player I am, I'm just going to go YOLO so I can get that 3K damage out. Or, in theory, get that 3K damage out. All right, one more shot. One more ram kill. What? Nah, I should not have taken 200 ram damage there, man. Uh, anyways, we, we won that game pretty easily. I wasn't too sure at first because my teammates were not really going hill. Fortunately, the E100 showed up and that stalled their progression on the hill. And then their 60 TP bled on his crossing. The E6 yelled the outside. Not even 3,000 damage there, but it was a pretty one-sided battle. And uh, I'll be, I'm fairly happy with that. Maybe I should have had over 3k at least, but oh well. The only kind of scenarios where auto reloaders can struggle sometimes are those very fast games because sometimes you just don't have that DPM to consistently dish out the damage in order to farm up a lot. If you had something like a Leo 1 in that scenario, would have been a little bit better, probably, as I wasn't I wasn't really using the auto reloader to its fullest potential there. I was more or less single shot for most of that game, except for a couple shots into the Leo and one shot into the grill there, but I was still able to do okay. All right, enemy team, 907 Sheridan TVP. A lot of hold on take destroyers. I'm going to be careful here. My team is split. I have the support of a Kara on a WZTD, which is pretty cool. But we are also slightly outnumbered here. So the TVP is being like awfully aggressive here. Let's see if I can capitalize on that. Ah, my finger slipped off the drive wheel. I was trying to back up faster there. But hey, at least we got a shot into the TVP. If it's a one for one trade, better for me to hit that than him. Although we have almost the exact same HP. So maybe it didn't make that much of a difference in the end. I don't know where the Sheridan's at. There's Mr. Sheridan. Sheridan's probably going to get pressure from behind by the Carol here soon. Mm, got baited. Nice bait there, buddy. Oh, interesting. So that's where the 907 win. Okay. 907 and Hori are slowly crossing over. And okay, that's an E3. So that's my signal to start backing out of here. I can't deal with a hold down E3, especially if you're supported potentially by a TVP. Oh, interesting. I should just get out. I should just get out. It's a lot safer for me to just get out at this point. Yeah. I don't want to overcommit to a fight that's not going to be have any kind of benefit for me. So, 
My teammates are taking a millennium to kill a single IS-7 in Minotauro here. I need to start making a bit of a difference this battle as soon as I can. So, I'm going to start pressuring Mr. IS-7 here. It's the best thing I can do for my allies is put one shot to the IS-7. I'm going to pull back a little bit and just watch my rear. Might have some shots here anyway, so it might not be the worst case scenario. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Wait for the IS-7 to shoot so I don't take any damage. And then we'll reload a couple shots and hopefully clear them out. But this is going to be a hard game to win because we did lose that med flank. And I read that that scenario was going to happen, which is why I just bolted the moment I saw the rest of their heavies pulling up. Feel bad abandoning my teammates there, but sometimes you just don't have an option. Especially in a scenario like that. But at least we should be able to pick up a clear on the I-7 here and the Minotauro in short notice. So... E100 is... You shouldn't push forward into that, my dude. Everyone is making some silly plays here. And, of course, the Sheridan is just back there and Max rolls me. That's a bit unfortunate. Wasn't expecting Mr. Sheridan to be back there. Let's wait till we reload all three shells here. My primary objective is probably just to farm damage in this scenario. After all, this game is already Jover. Nice. <laughs> probably Jover. My allies are all in terrible positioning. I don't want to take any more damage here, but I do want to eventually get out of here. I just need to wait for that Sheridan to shoot. Not the Sheridan shot. I can pull back a little bit. Let's get safe and sit on this corner here. Hopefully my allies don't all go chasing that Sheridan. We need to dig in and let the enemy team push into us. That's going to be way more valuable for my teammates than us chasing them around the corner. All right, there's the 907. Hmm, did not have a shot from there. It's fine. As long as he keeps pulling forward, I should get a couple shots into him here. There we go. One quick shot into the 907. He's going to pull around the corner, so I'm just going to sit back here and hide for now. And uh, yeah, we just have to wait for the enemy team to start pressuring us a bit. I mean, there's nothing much... There's nothing else I can really do in this scenario, so... I'm going to use this Minotauro probably as cover fire. Is my rear somewhat safe? Kind of. The Minotauro will probably take a shot before me there if they start poking that side. There's the Hori. Oh, nice nuke on the Hori there. Let's pick up a clear on him. W. Alrighty, alrighty. There's the Sheridan. Let's put a quick shot towards the Sheridan as well. Sheridan getting nuked too. Allies are cooking. Maybe it's now time for me to start being a little bit more aggressive over here. Now, TVP is still in Narnia. That's a bit problematic. Um, I think the E3 already fired, but I'm going to track him just in case, okay? We're going to try and avoid this TVP here. Alrighty, let's pick up a clear on this dude. Let's get away from this 907 here. Okay, the TVP should be on a long reload now. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, I think I played that correctly. Went for the kills there, which is really important for my teammates. And we can clear out this TVP in a moment, and uh, assuming the gun doesn't, doesn't troll me too hard. Excellent work by my team! That's how you do it, guys. When you're at a disadvantage, you dig in and you let the enemy team overextend on you. After you do that, it's it's basically game over. So, really well played to those players there. They did an excellent job on that corner. And we should be able to clear this dude. Okay, E3 armor profile goes burr. Maybe I should have just fired heat. Heat might have been a better idea there, to be honest. All right, E3 is just going to pull over. Probably get himself griefed here a little bit. There we go. One shot into him, and he's pretty much dead at this point, so nice. It's only 3,500 or so damage, but I think that my rotations there were really well executed, really important for my team, and just getting out alive and being alive late game in a tank with a three-shot autoloader is one of the most valuable things you can have for your team in this scenario like that. Like, that scenario was not looking good for us. We were down... A WZTD, we were down a Karo very quickly at the start, or right? 100 just yoloed in. So it was just me, a Minotauro 183 and an IS-7. And instead of like yoloing around to chase that Sheridan down, those players decided to sit back a little bit. Um, and that's what you have to do, right? When you're at a slight disadvantage, you have to force the enemy team to push into you most of the time. And Wesley needs to immediately pick up a kill. Because when you do that, they're going to start overextending. Our 183 started nuking those poor dudes and they overextended. And yeah, just overall, I, I have to compliment my team on how they played there at the end. E3 Hall is a pain. It's so dumb, man, because it's like gray. So you think you should, you, you think you'd be able to pen it. I was only shooting AP to guarantee the kill. Because it was well within my average roll range. But I probably should have just fired heat at the hall. 320 heat would have had no problem clearing him out there. And kind of just wasted a bit of time. Still got the kill in the end. Because my allies are not pending him. But I was pretty happy with that. Karo or Prog? Both are great. Both are really good in my opinion. Uh, Karo is really, really good. And same with the Prog. It's kind of hard to make a decision personally. Because I do like both of them. Okay, so there is a 30B here. Did he spot me up? No, he did not. Oh, no, he did spot me up. But now the 30B can't really escape here too easily. So, nobody's thinking about it. I'm gonna act like I'm pulling down from here. All right, team, let's send it, let's send it. All right, quick shot into the 30B there. Very nice. Glad I didn't overextend. You can see the 183's position and, oh. By golly, gee whiz, that's a sponge snapping E100 I see right there. All right, let's track the 183. 
Nice, we managed to track the 183 there. 183 already getting nuked a little bit. I don't know if I'm still spotted. Am I still spotted? Okay, 183 just fired. Nice, easy clear on him. Let's reload for a little bit and then get ready to maybe start pressuring this 30B. Hold on, 30B is gonna run out straight in front of me. Perfect. All right, quick shot to the 30B there. Second shot. Love oh, that one barely faithless. missed. Thanks Love your work, so much. <laughs> Look at work faithless. Thanks so much. Thank you, Peter, for the donation. Really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Ooh, that's one of the TDs. Okay, so they got a TD in the corner over there. This 30B is basically, it's basically Jover for this 30B. Dude is, dude is not going to be cooking here soon. Um, Buddy is definitely not cooking. Buddy is dead, actually. Buddy is just dead, except your fate. <laughs> Poor man's. 30B did his best, but he didn't have support. And it does not help a T124 decided to come chill with us on on the uh, med side. I kind of feel bad for them because uh, there's nothing they could do to counter that particular player. So the grill's in the corner. The 100's in front of me. I'm going to use this bush as some kind of cover here and start. Mmm, farming the 60 T. Bouncing off the side of a 60 TP. There we go. One more shot. The bat shot's farming him, so I'm just going to dump my full magazine here. I don't really see a reason not to. There we go. And here's where that auto reloader might be. Oof, nasty shot by our E4 there. That's where the auto reloader is nice though, right? I was able to pick up a kill quickly and I'm now just reloading, get ready to pressure these last three piggies. Uh, the E100 made some very suspect plays this game, not gonna lie. Oh nice, he's gonna cross right in front of me. My mans. With the damaged Amarak too? You, you, you shouldn't have. All right, one shot into this E100 here. Second shot into the 100 here. Let's just reload and immediately push for this IS-7 so I can get some damage on him before it's over. But yeah, well played to my team there. They uh, they did a, they did a good job kind of helping me out on med side. And oh my gosh, IS-7. I, I was going to say stop backing up, but I don't think he has a choice. There's a wild mouse just yellowing into him. All right, 3,700 damage dealt. Boop. 4k damage dealt. Mm. I got the ram kill. My ram kill, mouse. <laughs> All right. Oh, that should put me about 4,000 for that game. Bro, <laughs> I thought Prague got mega nerfed to three shell. Mag nerfed to three shells? Uh, he thought Prague always had three shells. Ever since the inception of the Projecta. Wow, what played E4? E4 did a good job there, dude. Um, Farmed almost 4k as well. So yeah, well played to that team with 10 E4. Um, curious, there's a lot of... <laughs> what do you mean there's a lot of brain in this chat? There's a lot of ooh, goats in the chat. That's that's what it is. Uh, mobility and accuracy during like 2020 though. Uh, yeah, mobility and accuracy during 2020. During 2020. Yeah, man, I missed the old prog. Old prog was just like, bro, kind of, it was kind of busted. Let's admit, let's admit, it was kind of busted, but it was good. Um, I heard that the prog has the best damage burn if you dump the whole clip. Maybe. One thing I actually need to verify if you dump your whole magazine and start reloading, you don't have to deal with the interclip. So it'd be like seven and a half, six and a half, and four and a half for all, all shells to reload, I believe, because you don't have the interclip to deal with. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, unless you still have to reload with the interclip. I'll have to test. Next time I mag dump, I'll have to see if the interclip's incorporated into the reload or not. Because uh, that's, I, as far as I'm aware, I think that's only incorporated when you're shooting with the, the third or second shells. DPM got buffed in Prague last year. Yeah, the DPM feels really good. It's way better than it used to be. And I think that's what makes it a little bit more competitive nowadays compared to before. I'm just going to let this TVP get past me. Also, this legendary camera looks pretty good. I like it indeed. Uh, although, it kind of looks a little clunky. I don't know. For a tank with PBR, it doesn't... Sometimes the legendary camera doesn't all the way look PBR. Let's spot up their tank destroyers to start up this game. Assuming they have tank destroyers up here. So far, no TD. Oh, there we go. There's our first TD. All right, one high explosive shell into this man's here. Put a second high explosive shell. This dude has auto reloader syndrome, so it feels bad or auto loader syndrome. Picking up a quick kill on the 4005. And my goodness, this TVP is uh, 62 has been crazy aggro here. Let's put a quick shell into him. Maybe not the smartest trick. What the heck is going on behind us? Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way. So our TVP is dragging these dudes into Narnia. Now the 62 is yellowing on top with me. I don't know why our bat shot also dropped down. What a absolute silly bat shot the on there. Good news is, though, I can just run away from Mr. 62, who seems to be eager to just YOLO me. Regardless of the consequences, by the way. Okay, so I'm dead here. Unless I ricochet this. Can I ricochet it? Oh my gosh, I got the ricochet. Come on, come on, come on. One more pen, one more pen, boys. One more pen. One more pen. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Lol. We're gonna be him in chat just a little bit. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Rat YOLO. Yeah, 62. YOLO in front of a TVP, a batch out, and a prog. 
Let me shoot your corpse with HE. Yeah. El Bozo. El Bozo 62. L. Nothing but else. <laughs> Why was that absolute diabolical YOLO by their team, man? Like, okay, I know you wanted to clear me out, but dude, that was like crazy. <laughs> you deserved all of the BM you got there. Deserved. 100%. Okay. Oh, no. I, okay, team, you're getting me. You're not pressuring the 57. Guys, you can clear the 50. Up, oh, TVP. You don't. Know, I got elevation from there, my dude. Okay. Well, we still win. We should still win this. Come on, boys. 183. What? What? 183. You had shots. What? 183. <laughs> we should win this. <laughs> that was kind of a funny game. <laughs> Carol versus Prague. Um, I streamed the Carol recently. You can see that the Carol is pretty saucy as well. Uh, I don't think I did a ton of damage that game, to be honest. 2.6. My goodness. What was the 62? 52% too. So <laughs> His name is... Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't know. <laughs> His name is a little bit uh, old school. Okay. Well, that was hilarious. I haven't touched Blitz since the SBMM update. Oh, well, it's going to be out soon. Yay. Um, <laughs> I know you probably said it, but I just joined stream. Prog versus Caro. Uh, it's hard to say. Honestly, in my opinion, both tanks are really good. Sometimes I feel like playing the Prog more. Sometimes I feel like playing the Progetto more. For me, I feel like the Prog is a little bit more restricted to an almost more traditional autoloader role where you're going to shoot three shells, pull back and reload, shoot three shells, pull back and reload. Whereas I feel like the Prog sometimes can get away with its, with its slightly higher DPM and you can be a little bit more aggressive and not necessarily have to play that kind of push in, shoot, pull back, reload type of deal. Uh, that's like the main difference between them, but I think they both are very effective at what they do. And the Prog and Progetto guns are both like... Eh, on the accuracy, not terrible, not great. They both do the job sufficiently enough. I think one of the advantages of the Peugeot is that you do have that reserve shell. So you're going to get like <laughs> basically up to 1600, at, at least 1500 damage in a magazine, right? If you want to dump all of your shells. And the Kiro also has the advantage of having higher alpha damage. I believe it is 380 unless I am mistaken. Hello, 57. How are you? All right, Mr. 57 here doing some silly things. Ooh, getting a ricochet on that upper plate. What did I say about that upper plate, ladies and gentlemen? It is pretty troll. So, glad I didn't overcommit to heavy side. It took them so long to get here, I thought, hmm, maybe their team's not here. That would have been a massive mistake on my part, but fortunately, that's not the case. And also, fortunately, these dudes might be pushing up into the perfect little crossfire here. Hello, Rat71. Take a shot for the team. Thank you very much, Rat71. Okay, so we got four players over here, potentially three on the flank. I'm going to just keep kind of spotted up this corner a little bit. I kind of want to pressure it, but not with the 57 or grill kind of in limbo. Oh, there, there we go. There's the TI2E1. So we know the TI2 is positioning as well. I wonder if I'm safe to make this poke here. I'm going to try it. Hopefully we can pull it off. There we go. One quick shot into this dude. Very nice. He's going to look, but he's not repairing his track. So second shot into him. And okay, now we pull back because that's not cool, Mr. 57. Are you shooting heat? Buddy is shooting heat. Buddy ricocheted one shell, got permanently traumatized, and resorted to just shooting heat. Okay, I'm safe now. Alrighty. Let's see. My heavy tank E5 could use some assistance here, so let me see if I can be a little bit more supportive over this E5. Um, WZTD, we got ourselves a 57 heavy problem here. Maybe you should focus on shooting his tank. Let's see if I can track him at all. Wasn't able to track him, but was able to get some snapshots off. Good stuff. A glacier is currently 1v1 in the TI2. I think he'll be okay. And we should be good on this side for the most part. Although, you know what? Once again, it's still a little bit close for comfort. So maybe I continue to provide a little bit more absolute assistance. Oh, that is very much not good. Okay, quick heat shell to this man's here. Good stuff. Unable to make him a one shot, unfortunately. So I'm going to pull back. And also what I think I need to do now. Let the 7-7 and WZ hold this position. And rotate out and support my team against the Centurion back here. We need to clear out the scent. I might take a shot from the TI2, but he is stock, so I don't really I'm not really concerned if I do take a shot from him. The scent needs to get taken out so I can start clearing the flank. So after making that quick and speedy rotation, one quick shell. We should be able to pick up a clear on this dude, no problem. TI2 is still in front of me. I'm not gonna overextend and bleed, because that'd make me a rough close to a one shot to the 183. So let's wait for a count to reset, pull back, and make sure I have at least two shells in the magazine there. Alright, now we poke forward just a little bit. Okay. So TI2 is still just chilling over on the encounter cap here. Hello, TI2. Let me put a quick shot into your hatch, good sir. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 
Very, very nice indeed. He is backing up a little bit now. And you'd probably die to the WZ there. W play. Nice. Good stuff. I think I got okay damage out this game. I was hitting all my shots, so I better have gotten okay damage out this game. Well, hello there, Mr. 57 Heavy Tank. Bye-bye. Lovely. Nice. All right. I played good support there. That was basically my role, right? Okay. This, this chat is crazy in bad way right now. Potato 65 is the greatest tank of all time. Okay, please no all caps, fam. Um, basically, I think to teach people how to play auto reloaders. I would say it does a pretty good job at that. I, I'm not really paying too much attention to the trap, but as long as nothing heinous is being said in there, I think we're good. Okay, 4k damage. I take it. Happy, happy. Um, I'm still unconvinced. I'll still buy the carrot. Why not get both? I mean, okay. I will not tell you to buy the caro because the caro costs real money, theoretically, right? Unless you've accumulated enough gold naturally. The prog is always going to be free with a little bit of elbow grease. Of course, time is money, as they say, but you spend some time grinding the prog and the P44 Pantera and Standard B are both incredibly good tanks tier, like in tier 8 and tier 9. I really enjoy the Standard B. It's still one of my favorite tier 9 meds. Even though it's been nerfed quite a few times, it's still a very good tier 9 med. So, don't worry too much if you're concerned about the grind. Don't worry about me. I'm just processing what just happened. That's all. So, like... Do I have any support on this side? Is the real question. I don't want to overcommit to something without adequate support. Okay, TVP's not here. Is their whole team going A? And what was their 62A thinking? Weird. Very weird. Okay, well, if that's the case, I am going to happily set up shop over here. Let's start by adding a little bit of cap pressure to this game. This is a surprise. Oh, well, at Enchanté. What do we have here? Whoa, Chief! Whoa, boss! Who said you could be doing that? I'm not letting you push me in front of the 183, buddy. I'm not letting it happen. You may as well accept your fate. Accept your fate, Grilla. Accept your fate. You are dead. You are dead. All right, now it's time for me to cap B. Well, that was unexpected. Grill showing up on the flank by himself. You know, I kind of respect it. Yeah, so when you do dump the magazine, there's no intra clip. That means your DPM is actually really good when you dump all, all, all three shells. Something the Karo won't have unless you dump the reserve shell. And when you dump the reserve shell on the Karo, well, you have a 21 second reload on that. So, Loki kind of saucy, man. Loki kind of saucy on the gun uh, gun handling statistics. Okay, let's dump another shot into this dude. So this might be a good just general auto loader that eventually can reload single shells at a time, right? So say I dump three shells in this 263 and a standard auto reloader, I would not reload in time to maybe get another shell into him here. If he pulls in, I can get that extra shell in, right? I would still be running in most auto loaders, but boom, I was able to get that extra shell in. Once again, it's gonna take me about seven seconds for my next shell and then six seconds or four and a half seconds. So by the time I'm ready to pressure these last three dudes, I should have a full magazine in the clip. Very, very handy indeed. Okay. Let us, let us commence the object 777. Dealing with this dude. All right. One shot, two shot. You know what? I'm just going to focus him out because he's in front of me. Three shot. Very nice. The second dude is not going to do so well. And you know what? May as well push in. I have more than enough HP here. Maybe I can get Two more shots in. You know what? I'm just going to aim for the max roll here while I have his side. He's going to be dead long before I can probably get a full mag into him anyways. So, there we go. 4.3k damage dealt. Easy peasy. Thank you, Batshot, for eventually rotating back to support me on the grill. Not that it mattered. I had the grill taken care of. But, I do appreciate that he came back to help us on C instead of just sitting at A. Enemy team doing some very spectacular plays there. I don't know what's up with the yellowing 62 A's, but this dude actually got 45 damage out, which is impressive. Actually, he got as much damage as his win rate. 45 damage or 45%. I, honestly, that takes some skill. Now I just need to do like um, 73 damage in a game. And it's perfect. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Fennis. Thanks for the stream. I love you. <laughs> I love you much. Thank you very much, Killer Clownfish. Do appreciate the support. Thank you for being a channel member for three months, by the way. Uh, love using your streams as a study break from <laughs> for my MCAT prep. Oh my goodness. Good luck with the MCAT prep. Pretty intensive stuff. I wish you all the best on that. All right. Tier 8 Italian meds. 
uh, is better the premium one is it better than the, the Progetto 46 i don't know man the Progetto 46 is still a really solid tank okay batch at leo 200 lt versus me and a single bash out theon we are very much outclassed on this side all right. Oh my gosh. Don't you love that batch at view range? <laughs> Pretty sure dude spotted me like over there, by the way. Get, judging by when my sixth sense went off. I don't have support. I don't want to risk it right now. I'm going to tell our batch at negative. Let's not, let's not go here. Let's not, I'm saying driving to base negative. Like let's not drive to base. The, uh, okay. Maybe, maybe that's not the most, um, maybe that's not the most, <laughs> maybe that's not the most, uh, let me tell him. Can I tell him to get out? Dude, it's so annoying. It's like, you have to put your oh wait 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 a second wait a second what the bat chat doing are you telling me their whole team is actually not over here we were outnumbered i thought there was no way their team would run away from the side however it appears that seems to be that seems to be the case okay we'll still have to watch for some tds back here or a wild bash shot the on chilling in narnia or, heck, even a wild Leo 1's chilling in Narnia with its insane accuracy. Lovely. Oh, wow. We got ourselves a Gorilla 15 pushing in for me a little bit now. And a Leo. It's fine. I got covered from a Gorilla 15 as well. If this dude tries to get aggro on me, it's not probably not going to go super well for him. Nine degrees of gun depression. I have slightly more than the Leo here, but I don't want to overextend just yet. Wait, where'd my grill go? Oh, grill and Batch are pushing from the side. Nice. Very good. This Leo is in a terrible position then. All right, let's focus out this 200 LT. One quick shot into him. Very good. Let's put a second shot towards him. Also very good. I'm not going to bleed if I don't have to, especially for a single shot. That's just not the smartest play for me. So let's reload here. However, our chieftain is being quite aggressive. So let's put one HG into this dude. I'm just going to aim for the engine deck here to try and catch him on fire, which does work. We get the fire. We bring him low on hit points here. And since I out reload him with my auto reloader, I can just plug in a kill shot onto him, right? Auto reloader doing its thing. Quite charming indeed. All right, so 200 LT gonna make a break for it. Let's just put a shell into his tank as well. And this gun, as you can see, the gun works quite well at medium to close range, right? That's that's really what this gun is is best at. For ranges like this, where you just catch players out and clip them. Now it is not looking too good for me right now. Actually, I already know I should not be sitting here anymore. They're gonna push them through the mid. I need to get some hill cover between me and where the enemy team's gonna show up. So let's see if we get a max roll in here. Okay, nice. Girl clears out that player. W indeed. We are up 700 cap points here, so that's nice. And let's see if anything else gets spotted. So enemy bash shot Dion pushing up here. Looks like he's going to grab some caps here. Maybe go out to clear out one of my allies. 113 and W0 also here. Our bat chat way overextended. What a silly play by that bash shot Dion there. He's going to get killed. Please at least hit one shot into him. Make him, make him a one shot for me, my dude. W, okay. I think the 113 just fired if I'm not mistaken. Let's put a quick shot to the 113 here. We're going to be on a race against time for the caps here. That's going to be the main problem we face. Oh, well, the, the other main problem is the wild WZTD. There's yellowing into me. So if we don't low roll him, we do low roll him. That's a bit unfortunate indeed. And I, I most certainly will not be able to out traverse this tank. This tank has an insane amount of traverse speed. But oh, 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 one, one out traverse, one out, one little bit of out traversing here. All right, let's just try and stay alive a little bit longer. Alrighty. Bring that dude down to a one-shot. We do manage to debate the 113 here just ever so slightly. Here's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to pre my turret this way and use six cents to watch out for the bad shot here. Okay, this 113 is very much lost in the sauce here. Whoop. Okay, we do manage to bait the 113. It's going to be my cue to start flanking this dude. Put one track shot to the 113 here. Let's add a second track shot into that, maybe. And let's get ready to see if this bat track gives me a kill shot here, which he might. There we go. Quick and easy kill. Very lovely indeed. We are still down on cap points here, but this 113 seems really lost. So let's just hope we don't low roll him here. Oh, gun depression. Come on. No! Yes, we won! Error! <laughs> the outplays! Auto reloaders for the win. Fortunately, the 113 was terrible. It was he was a very bad player, but perfectly played 6,000 damage a deserved ace tanker i think call a battles metal showing these boys what is good progetto dpm and auto reloader auto reloader there was very 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 clutch like my goodness now mind you i got lucky this dude's probably like 42 percent win rate or something right the 41.38 so very you know not the most skilled player i was facing there in the 113 but all the same, not the best scenario to be stuck in either. And our girl did 16. You know what? That's impressive. Our girl did 69 damage. Honestly, I respect that. <laughs> but he got the perfect damage marker there. 
<laughs> oh my good. Oh, my camera turned off. Sorry about that. I was too busy cooking. Too busy cooking. I was cooking so hard, my camera overheated there. <laughs> oh my goodness. That Those are the type of games I live for, though. Well, I play Blitz 4. That was an extremely well played game, I think. You hit the camera fix. Oh, fuck. I can't. Vice, do you, do you. Come on, come on. Give me some slack here. I am sweating my balls off in the Progetto, trying to win the one versus three on a on a one shot. I don't have time. I don't have time to be looking at my camera screen here and seeing if it's working or not. <laughs> my gosh, what a game. I'm actually extremely happy with that. Yeah, that was that was a very fun battle. I feel like, man, compared to yesterday's Yag stream, I feel like I'm just playing so much better. But once again, that's the difference between me playing in a medium tank and me playing in a slower, heavy tank destroyer. It's like I get to choose my battles and I get to rotate around so much more. And, you know, I could never pull something like that off in a Yag. That's why I will forever just love medium light tanks forever. They are going to be my favorite class of vehicles. It just allows you to do stuff. That was terrific. Thank you. That was a very good sweaty game. My goodness. Heart got a little bit of pump in there. Okay. I think, man, that the, the, the play there is perfect. The track on the 113 after we baited a shot out of him, the secondary track shot onto him to keep him in place, and then the prediction where the bat shot would pull in from and clearing the bat shot out and then rotating back. <laughs> I was just very happy with that. Okay, moving on. Next game, we have the bad spawn on Vineyards. Yay, my favorite map, as you guys all know. I actually might try and counter cap here. I don't usually play in counter cap. You get crossfired out really easily from A side if you don't have A side control. But let me spot up the mid here a bit. Yeah, the patent I think does have better view range than me, so I do have to watch out for that. Didn't have the shell velocity. Did I get spotted for that? Maybe. No, I don't think I even got spotted for that W. Wasn't even spotted. All right, Mr. Grill. Mr. Grill is maybe crossing up here. There's Mr. I7 as well. Interesting, Mr. Patton. Okay. Well, that told me all I needed to know about this game. So, here's what I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sneakily wait for my camouflage to reset before rotating out of here. We're actually maybe, okay, I can't really hold my spawn, but I might be able to pressure the enemy spawn ever so slightly here. We are down from A cap. My teammates are not capping C, that could be an issue. And let's see, there's the enemy's 183 as well. So we also spot their 183 up and he's kind of sitting in the open here. Quick shot to the 183, I'm gonna quickly cross here so I don't put myself into a crossfire with any of the other tank destroyers. And yeah, this 183's just in a terrible crossfire, so. We're gonna have to deal with this 1e3. Okay, there's the e4. Got that legendary spotting metal. And there's the back of an IS-7. Okay, so the grill's rotated back a little bit. Oh, okay, that's not very good. I was trying to cap stall A, but you know, maybe that was a mistake, Vice. Guys, maybe that was a massive mistake on my part. I'm trying to get this, the, the stall on A cap here. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Please don't overmatch that. Nice, we managed to bait this dude out a little bit here. Okay, misplays were made. Misplays were made. I might be dead. Yeah, that was a misplay on my part. Why do I even bother trying to take caps? My goodness. <laughs> okay, that was just uh There you go. You win some, you lose some. Me, we have the trash spawn on vineyards. I was seeing if we could retake a cap. The only problem is that yeah, their grill rotated back. Their 57 was sitting in a ditch, and I kind of caught myself stuck there. Couldn't back up because of the grill's positioning. Just a bit of a misplay. Bit of an oopsie. We gotta pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> I don't know why I play for caps, man. I don't know why. Vineyards and Supremacy, and you have that spawn, is the worst combination, man. Because you can't really hold A. It's pretty difficult to retake B if they have their tank destroyer set up that way. And your team's gonna be stuck on C, maybe. Um, yeah. Bit of an oopsie game. You know what? You know what? Let's, let's, uh, while we wait, while we wait, we gotta just yell on a different auto letter. <laughs> In reality, I should have been so aggressive there, but like, once again, I knew we were gonna be down A cap, and I wanted my team to try and retake B. I only made that play to try and take caps. I did not make it to be selfish for damage there, and I kind of regret that now, because if I had been selfish for damage, I would have just sat back and farmed them on the crossing. Bit of an accident. Oh, ho! Three versus one win deserves a reward for a sweaty battle. Oh my battle. goodness! Amazing battle. The anonymous donation. Not sure who you are, but thank you very much for the one hundred dollar tip. Uh, <laughs> came in right after I did a very silly game, but thank you so much for the donation there. I'm glad you enjoyed the game, and uh, I had a lot of fun that battle. Hopefully, we don't do that again. Let's just do a quick YOLO game in the bad shot. I'm not gonna sweat this game too much out in the bad shot. The on my primary goal here is to just kind of cook up a little bit. 
Hello, Praja. Oh, oh, I mean, Carol. Okay, I should be able to clip this Carol faster than he clipped me. All right, one shot, two shots, and three shots. Very nice. I missed them all, basically. Okay, what? So we have AFKT54, and we have the Leo yellowing in the wrong side. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Glad to see my allies are doing what they're great at, which is, um... Leo? 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 Hello? 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 Hello, Mr. Leo? Mr. Leo! Woo! Got a ricochet. Let's go. All right, one shot into this man's ear. Put a second shot into this man's ear. 30B is still yellowing after me a little bit, but I can run away from him. Alrighty, good stuff. Rat chatty on time has been... Oh dear, our oh, Leo's dead. Okay! <laughs> Joking. It was nice knowing you, buddy, Mr. 30B. It's okay if you bring me down to a one shot here. I don't care. Because my primary objective is to get you to push into my 5041, which he did. Okay. W. So 30B is kind of overextended. This 54 is already reloading. You know what? I'll reload with you, my dude. He doesn't know we're both reloading. This is a perfect opportunity. All right. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Sorry, Leo made like the most bizarre play that game. I don't know how I feel about it. My... Oh, this is over. This is, this is over. I gotta stay alive. Still, this is this is as jover as it gets. Nice, nice one there. Nice one there, dude. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Die. I know I was counting really fast there. Kind of had to, though. I would rather not risk it. Okay. Ooh. That's not good. Hmm. Gotta watch for the E4, but I wonder if I can crossfire out this Minerazzo from back here. I can kind of do it, but I need to wait for him to overextend a bit. So let's wait to see if this Minerazzo overextends slightly. See, like, now? Overextend. One shot. Two shot. And third shot. And let's pull down before we die. Very nice. Oh, we are still so dead. We are still so dead. I believe. Oh! I believed it, it came true! Run away! <laughs> Mr. E4 fluffing his shots. Oh my god, that shot is so dumb and good in a, in a in a funny way. Like, I played that so silly right off the bat, just bleeding out to a Garrow, and yet I still got away with it. Alright. Same for a track shot here. One track shot, and two shots into his side. Lovely. Bleeding him out just slightly. It's still have an E3 in the spawn on full hit points. 4k damage dealt so far. And, um... The VK90 kind of sitting in Narnia here. As long as I don't cap B, we might have a chance here. A very slim chance, but a chance all the same. I should be able to outspot this VK from, from a mile away as well. So let's see. Okay, there's the VK. He's trying to get onto the B cap here. As I kind of predicted, our E3 is kind of in Narnia. Okay, one shot into this VK here. VK is, um... Oop, gonna take another shot for the team. Let me reload. I gotta go help my, my, my homie over here clear out this T124. So, let me... Okay, so stay alive. Just stay alive a little bit longer there, bait. There you go. The VK90 is not going for the cap anymore. W. Fra the question is, where's the VKB at? Ooh, VK90 actually picked up that clear. I was not expecting that. Okay. Okay, we know where the VKB is at. Track shot. Very good. Secondary track shot. Also very good. Maybe a fire with HE. Lovely. Okay, 5,700 damage dealt so far. Now we act like we're running away in order to avoid the VK rat. And the VK rat, unfortunately, did manage to get the cap there. I don't know what our E3 is doing. He must be AFK, right? There's no other... There's no other way. He's, there's no way he's not AFK right now, right? Okay, there's the VK90. Max roll. Let's pull back. No, our E3 is alive. He's just very slow. Okay. Rat chat with three shot, by the way. The one I did not stream last time. Let's go, eat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta go, my dude. We gotta go. Hmm, actually. Oh, dude, the caps are so high. Okay, there's the VK90 at least. We, we know where the VK90's position is here. Oh, nice. He gets nuked. He gets nuked. Okay. I just gotta help our E3 out here. Okay. One shot. Two shot. Let's pull down and get safe from any VKBs that could be looking my way. Alright, you gotta get B. Please cap B, my dude. Please cap B. I need you to cap B. Okay, there's the VKB. Speaking of Bs. Speaking of Bs, our VK4502B is over here. So, which way is he yellowing? He's yellowing straight in for me or not? I can't tell. No, he's gonna cut in for A. When he cuts in for A, that's gonna be my opportunity to flank him here. We're gonna have to be fast about this. Let's see, what's the caps? Okay, we're up on caps. I could play a safe or I could play greedy for damage. What do you guys think? Greedy or safe? 
I think we're gonna go greedy. We're gonna go full greedy here. Bop, one shot. Bop, two shots. W. Okay. Well, I didn't- I wasn't planning on sweating the prog game. I literally was gonna YOLO so I could just, like, get the game over quickly. But I had to sweat to get the W there. Our E3 is pretty useless, man. I mean, at least he put up, pulled up late game. At least he pulled up late game. 7,400 damage. Ace in the bat shot the yawn. Um, I just want to take a look at this. Oh, yeah, okay, that's- okay, that's why. Wow, we, we kind of cooked that game. We kind of cooked. Anyways, we lost the prog game. No surprise there. Silly me, I- I did a big boo-boo in the prog. <laughs> Still, uh, prog game aside, we had two cook games in a row. Uh, if we just ignore the prog game. My goodness. Okay. Rat shot's so good. Yeah, that- dude, this is why it's the rat shot. This is why it's so good. I can roll around on, like, 200 hit points and, like, farm 4,000 damage on that, right? It's the rat shot for that reason. You get it into any kind of open hilly environment where you can sneak up on tanks and its gun is just insane. Uh, but the topic of today's stream is not the rat shot, so I'm gonna go back to the good old Progetto. Awesome rat shot game. Thank you! A uh, brief little intermission with the best shot on. Just showcasing itself as the best tier 10 med and light tank combined. <laughs> Always greedy for the damage. Yeah, I, ha I had to get the 7k damage out, man. I had to be greedy for the 7k damage. You know how it is. Okay. To be fair, I waited till we had a ton of cap points to just do a last minute push, and the VK was going for A, so I felt it was fairly safe to do that. My team want to go town here. I don't really want to go town, but there's no way I'm dealing with a 4 2 2 and a Kiro by myself, so... Yeah, I guess I'll go town side. Not really an ideal scenario for me. Oh, interesting. So the 422 is over here as well. All right, 422 track shot. The shot didn't even get close to his track there. Wait, are you telling me the Karo's over here as well? Whoa, chill dude, chill dude. You don't, you don't have to be like that. You don't have to be like that. What on earth? Their whole team is in town. Not what I was expecting. 405's there too? Yep. Karo's rotating out, it looks like. 422 is just yellowing to his demise. Okay, so the Karo's rotating out ever so slightly here to the middle. I do have some side shots on him, so let's aim this in fully. Boom. It's kind of crazy to think that, like, Loki the Batcha has better gun handling than the Prog. Even though it's way faster and has, um, yeah, yeah, pr uh, Batcha broken. Okay. It's only a matter of time, I think, before the Batcha gets touched with the rebalance hammer. There's no way it can stay in its current state. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of relocating here, because I can. And that's the key to autoloaders, so at least putting yourself in a position where you can get those easy shots. Sitting front line, ain't gonna cut it. My team is also kind of killing it over there, so like, respect to the team. But at the same time, I would like to start crossfiring some of these laddies out here. So, oh, we got a quick shot into this man's here. Kero gets one un unfortunate ricochet pen into me there. And in theory, if he gets all four shells back, he could clip me. Now, fortunately, he also fluffs the second one. I'm gonna pull around this corner here. I'm gonna see if I can bait him just a little bit. Okay, he's just gonna yellow in for me. He might have his next shell back. And chuck shot! Nice. So I can reload three into the magazine here. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Nice. Another ricochet on the upper plate of this tank. I have a better auto I have a better um I have a better intercal reload, so I can outplay him very easily. There you go. That's how you do it, right? So I wasn't You think I don't see 50B? I wasn't aiming to just dump my magazine into them there. I was aiming for track shots to slow his progression, get him to waste a shot or two, and then just work a position where he would really struggle to pen me. And that that worked perfectly in my favor there. I think I played that one very, very well. All right, so we have this 777 here. That's not going to hit him. Now, I do know there's a 50B yellowing me from somewhere. Okay, there he is. Hello, Monsieur 50B. This is actually still a fairly close game, so I got to be a little bit careful here. But, ooh, free shot to the 50B. W. Okay, a little bit less close now. Now, I should out-reload the 50B here. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot. 50B got a slight reload buff. Oops, that was a silly play on my part. Oh, my goodness. Please don't HE me. Whatever you do, good sir, please do not HE me. Up the booty cheeks that, and catch me on fire. That would just be very unpleasant of you. Okay, I'm not even going to bother. I'm going to bait him into the whole re. I'm going to bait him into the whole re. I'm not going to bother. Nice. There we go. See, I had to play with Carlos here in the whole re. Make sure he could cover me and that object kept yelling for me. Wow, they all went back for me. The Carol went back for me. The 50B went back for me. The, um, who else went back for me there? Yeah, the object 777, obviously. Well played to the whole re there. That's why situational awareness is really clutch, by the way. Because imagine I was not paying attention and I was just kind of trying to sit there and farm from the mid. 
right? Or pushed in. And that 50B that I maybe didn't notice rolls up on my side or behind me. And yeah, that's that's all it takes, right? That's all it takes for that 50B to put one shell into me before I can shoot him. And then she would have the, the clip advantage there. Fortunately, I had the advantage, so I didn't lose as much HP. But I could have maybe died to that 50B if I wasn't paying attention. So always try and pay attention to where tanks are trying to rotate to or if it looks like they're rotating around because... You'll be surprised how often they are going back to YOLO you. This is why I've always stated you have to be extremely careful when you're sitting on a flank. You have to expect that there's going to be a, a tank, maybe two, heck, maybe even five, that decide that their ambition is just to YOLO back and clear out their spawn. Which isn't necessarily a, a bad play. You just got to be aware that that's a, something that can occur. Because if you're not, you'll find yourself getting flank nuked very often. I don't know if this dude spotted me. Hmm, this game's taking a while. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Probably rotate out to mid. I think I prefer playing mid in this scenario. They do have a girl on a T30 to watch out for. The Karo. The only problem is their team's kind of dug in. The E50M's gonna be a bit nasty to deal with as well. And I just don't want to deal with an E50M right now. And this grill is overextended slightly. Let's wait for this grill to maybe shoot. There's no way I wasn't spotted. There's no way this dude's just pre-aiming for me. I wasn't spotted. What's he doing? Someone else gets spotted rotating out? I don't know if he can spot me from back there. Well, now he can. Now he definitely can. Interesting! I was never spotted here, but dude's just pre-aiming like, uh, like he knows I'll be poking there. I'm... Okay, is our Arcaro completely dipping? Okay, I didn't mean to completely dip, I just wanted to go back to spawn, my dude. Okay, you know what? Arcaro's completely dipping. Um... My whole team has not been able to kill some 5-2. I'm going to have to get all the way out of here as well. Without support, it would be a pretty bad idea for me to sit there. So, I'm going to see if I can assist my teammates in maybe finally progressing up this midline here. Or I can defend spawn. Two options. Defend spawn, push forward. Our bat jack got stuck. He's going to get counter pushed on. I'm going to see if I can assist him at all. Without overextending, of course. Overextending would be the death of me. Alright, one shot into this AMX-30 prototype here. Let's see, Mr. Bash shot to yawn. I'll come back to support. You don't have to run all the way out here. That'd just be si What's the point in even coming back and helping your teammates out if they're just all gonna run away on you like that, man? My goodness, my teammates are very peculiar right now. Okay, one shot to this man's here. Um, so really, y'all are really just gonna sit in Narnia, aren't you? Oh, this is my this is my demise, my dudes. Now, fortunately, the Shkold is a one-shot. I might be able to get out of here without taking too much damage. I don't believe he has the autoloader. He does not. Nice. Okay. A little bit of debate play here, and I might get away with a little bit of hit points. Thank you very much, Karo and Batcha. I literally came back to help you, and you decided just to dip on me and be useless, and Batcha got himself killed in the process. Thank you. That's always uh, a fantastic fantastic um, when teammates do that. Alright, this dude hasn't fired. One shot into our man's here. Let's put two shots into him. Not quite, sadly. The uh, motion got in my way, but I'm still doing okay over here. Let's go, team. Let's go, let's go. Caro, finally sending it. Thank you. Quick clear on this dude. W. Caro got himself um, not nuked. Well played. Right, AMX 30. Did you just shoot there, buddy? I don't know what he was shooting at, but heck, I'll take it. Alrighty. Not the funnest game in the world, but we stayed alive. We managed to cook. My rotation out saved my skin there. Otherwise, I could have died there very easily. Alrighty. Not sure if these are both looking at me. Oh, they are. Oh, Progetto armor profile goes burr, though. Nice little clear there, and I can pull back. This dude's gonna be dead. Shit, the Karo. Who fluffed his shot, but he's still dead. Nice. Okay. Well, that game was a bit awkward. That was a little bit awkward on me. I uh, probably should have just dipped instead of trying to go back. I, I I thought, oh, you know what? If I if I go back to spawn the hell the bat chat, the bat chat probably won't run. And together, we can basically just two clip any of those dudes that were back there. Uh, but I had severe overconfidence in our bat chat's um, team effort there. He 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 wasn't interested. He decided the only heavy side doing one shot and dying was a more more attractive alternative to that game. <laughs> Do you want to master all tier 10 meds again? No. No, that stream was that stream was terrible. No. <laughs> Batch out three shots surprisingly good. Oh, easiest 3k game I've ever 
have. Not much, I know, but still. I mean, the Bat Chat's like the strongest tier 10 light tank by a long shot. It has the best view range the game has ever seen. Stock, right? It has some of the best mobility of the light tanks. Maybe it doesn't have the best top speed, but it definitely has, I think, the best power to weight and acceleration, at least from my personal experience. There's a lot of great things going for the Bat Chat. That's why it's a goaded tank. And maybe a little too strong right now. Maybe if Wargaming removed the inter interclip reload consumable, that would be a little bit helpful. Because right now, I think having that is maybe just a little bit kind of bruh. Okay, so we lost corner. I didn't really trust my allies to support me, though, so I didn't want to commit to corner. Let me see if I can spot the middle here. Interesting. So we got one tank destroyer spotted up. We got two tank destroyers spot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Push. Keep pushing up a little bit more. Okay, team, I'll need you to come nuke this dude instead of all sitting in Narnia. Hello? Dude, okay, this is, Joe, this is Joe. My allies are all lost in the sauce. My allies are all lost in the sauce. This is Jover. This is so Jover for me. Yeah, this game's over. This is what I get for taking a position to try and help my teammates out, dude. At least the 268's kind of blocked. Dude. All right, guys. Yep, yeah, let's let's all sit in the back of spawn. Let's 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 uh, Carlos and and uh, and, and Scald and over here in the chief. Let's let's just keep sitting in the back of spawn. That's 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 a great idea, man. <laughs> Come on, you let their 50 beat VK 90 push all the way through the ditch towards our spawn. You let two TDs yellow in for free. Like, oh my goodness. Well, wasn't the prog's fault? There's nothing you can do in that scenario, especially when you have two of the strongest tier 10 TDs, like sitting in front of you. You have none of your allies supporting because they're all they're all determined to like send the back of spawn, apparently. We might actually end up winning this because our bat chats are playing together, but oh, they're a platoon. Thank you so much, guys. If the bat chats had both pushed faster in there, maybe it would have been okay. We're actually gonna win this somehow. The only reason we're winning this, low-key, is because their VK90 mega overextended. The 268 got wrecked because I managed to put a couple shots into him and cleared by Bat Chef, but like, goodness, man. Pre pretzel, we got Pretzel Nugget over here. Um, the Bat Chats are dying. Actually, I don't think we're gonna win this. We got uh, Scald over here. <laughs> my, my allies. I don't expect the Gorilla to push up. It's fine that he sniped, but the E100 and Chieftain 100% should have pushed the C. We even have the better spawn for taking C. Like, why not just drive forward? You're all gonna stare at a Batcha and E50M that are like never gonna give you good shots in the corner. Oh, I'm in a Ratto when AFK too. I think this is Jover. I think this is Jover to be honest. Personal opinion. <sighs> I literally went to C cap because I didn't trust my teammates to push into it fast enough. So I'm like, if I go to C cap, I might be able to stall their team. And I did. I stalled their WZ and 268 from pushing in right away. But then all of my absolutely talented ta heavy tanks got spotted sniping in the back of spawn. And so they just yelled at me. Like, <laughs> if our heavies were delayed crossing in, it would have been fine. I just don't understand. Maybe I should have just gone and taken corner, but that's precisely why I didn't want to take corner. Because I didn't trust my allies to push up and prevent them from shooting me from behind. So I'm like, if I can take that middle portion, prevent their team from pushing up, my allies will have no problem. But you know this game. You know how this game is, man. These players are sometimes the worst support imaginable. I think, I think, oh, okay. If he's shooting HE, that's actually not so bad. I highly doubt this dude's penning it. You're not even gonna try and gun block him? Thank heavens I'm in a tower woke up. Oh my gosh. Are we actually gonna have a chance of- They're 1 e 3s AFK. They're 1 e 3s AFK and we almost lost this, by the way. Ay ay ay. <laughs> Bro, they got the good side of the map and they throw- Dude, we barely won. Um, actually we won by a lot of HP. Somehow, the only reason we won is because their VK90 absolutely threw by yoloing ditch there. Um... If the VK90 had gone C cap, dude, I highly doubt we ever would have had a chance of winning that. My goodness. I'm just like, oh my gosh. How, how did we even... The enemy team was five, was six versus seven there. <laughs> as well. If that 1e3 is also in the game, we probably... I don't think... I don't know if we would have had as much of a chance of winning that. Pepega Piggy Simulator. Yeah. <laughs> my gosh, man. I can't even with these teams anymore. I can. I can. What, 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 what? I, the fact that we won that was ridiculous. Our, our platoon of bat chats were, were being kind of crazy. I do have to give credit though. Our bat chats kind of debated the enemy team hardcore. One of them reached a corner and cleared their bat chat. The other flanked and took out the 268. 
And, oh, I still, you know what, never mind. These batch ads did almost nothing. 46, 49. Uh, the E100 is 44. Okay, okay. What about the Minotauro? It's 50, but I don't know. Man's was AFK. Girl's okay, I think, but dude was not playing smart. Yeah. Like, my goodness. <laughs> I swear, every time I take a position that I, I that I, I do it specifically because I want to benefit my team, I've had bad prog games. The trying to retake B cap on vineyards and this in this battle taking C cap because I wanted to stall the enemy team from pushing in by spotting them early enough and give my allies enough time to like push up all the way. Both times it ended in a disaster. It ended in a disaster both times. It ended in a disaster. Why? I just need to remember to play as selfish as possible because keeping my gun in the game is way more valuable 80% of the time. 20% of the time giving up positioning is definitely going to cause me to throw. I feel so bad for that, man. Imagine playing a stock Vicar CR with the tier 8 190 alpha damage gun or 180 alpha damage gun. That's actually pain. That's just pure pain. Okay. Let's see if anyone gets spotted crossing here. Hmm, so far no one spotted. Okay, they got a... BZ, 60 TP and one other tank around that end. Let's just take a little peek here. Okay, nothing seen. The Sheridan's yellowing up quite aggressively on this side here, I think. And the Leo PTA is as well. Sharon is probably not going to overextend that. I think the 2-6-8 is probably the one that's on the cap then. Whoa, buddy. Chill. Okay. Okay, quick shot to this man's. How's my Sheridan Comp Panzer? Sheridan Comp Panzer should be chilling over there. There's the 268 as well. Reload, reload, reload. Nice. Pull forward a little bit. W. And this 268 is being a bit of a silly here. So let's put a quick track shot into him as well. There we go. See, this is where the auto reloader is working pretty well for me here. Okay, I just gotta watch for that prog. My teammates are doing good clearing out that side. I'm not too worried about it. And I honestly kind of doubt the prog's gonna yellow this way now. The problem's gonna be maybe this 268. Okay, well, maybe the prog will yellow a little bit. There we go. Quick shot into his side there. Let's just shoot one in there. I'm still worried. No, never mind. I'm not really worried about the 268 anymore. I take that back. But he is way overextended. All right, one shot into the 268. Two shots into the 268. Let's just let's just mag dump into the 268 here. Okay. So you're you're just seriously gonna pull all the way out, take two shot, get nuked by everyone, all for getting one shell into me. That's crazy. Okay, let's wait till I have a second shell loaded here. Clear. Nice. Pull back from the conk, and we should be. We are mad winning this game. I should just be yellowing right now, to be honest. Oh my gosh, the BZ is the only one alive. Is he on the inside or the outside? Oh, he's right in the center of the caps. I should go over the mid, basically. Well, that was fast. Well played to the Vickers and the Sheridan. Like, a Sheridan and a stock Vickers actually gamed on the... No, we had a Confenser. I forgot about the Confenser. What the heck is that? Oh, Ram. More damage, please. Is all the damage I can take. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. I was like 3k flat, maybe. Welcome! Um, D... Ares? D... Ares? D... Ares? Thank you very much for becoming a channel member. Do appreciate the support. Good stuff. <laughs> 3,500 damage dealt. Okay. That was a pretty decent team. You know what? Well played, Sheridan. You did really good work on bedside. Gotta give credit where credit's due, right? Our... Comp Panzer. Ooh, man. There's a lot of 44 percenters out nowadays. There's a whole lot of 40 40 percenters out today. Carlos for RG and lead. No. <laughs> Remember to thank your allies. Thank you. Hold on. What's up, curious? About 40% is free. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it might not just be logical. Sometimes maybe they just don't care and they're just playing for the sake of it. And that's fine if that's if that's what their ambitions are. Not everyone's trying to get the 70% win rate. <laughs> you guys give Carlos a break, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> chill, chill, chill on Carlos. Chill on Carlos. I wasn't even, I wasn't even uh, braiding on him too much there. <laughs> I actually was like, you know what? At least my mans was shooting HE at the WZ frontally because there's no way he was spending that with AP. And I doubt he was going to hit his heat shells correctly there. So, you know, his, his few HE shots on the WZ kind of helped out. Now, if he had penned one more shot on the WZ's rear, that would have been helpful. Did that CCA spot me? I don't think he does. Nope, he doesn't. Okay, so two meds. Now, I'm not going to overextend just yet. Sometimes players like to really aggressively pu push your late game. That's just not a fun experience. And okay, so there's the Minerato, but they still have a 268 and a WZTD. Nasty, nasty, nasty tank. So let's wait it out a little bit. Okay, the Yo, the 777. And let's see what else we got here. We got a Yag for support, so that's cool. Judging by the 62A's maneuvering right now, 
He doesn't. He has support, but he's hesitant. So I'm going to predict one to two tank destroyers sitting back behind him. Now he's going to cross out in a really terrible routing here if he tries pulling forward all the way. Dang it. He got, he got debated by my allies. So there's the bash shot to yawn. Looks like our Leo took a shot from one of the tank destroyers as well. And I'm probably going to get proxied here in just a moment. But I should have enough time to put one shot into this dude and pull back. I'm not going to overextend like this Leo, as you will watch. Case in point, Leo's about to get lit up probably. Maybe the Leo gets lit up. I'm assuming he can. Okay, there's the Bat Chat running away. So Bat Chat decided to just run away from here. Well, he wants to shoot at me for some weird reason. Not sure why he would want to do that. I'm a perfectly dandy fellow. Fine and dandy fellow. You, you don't want to shoot at me. I'm a good, I'm a good kind person. All right, there's the 62 A's rear. Ah. Well, I'm still gonna hesitate on the push. Okay, so I guess they didn't have any TDs back there. I guess the Bat Chat just shot the Leo twice, and I didn't notice. Silly me. Which means they have a couple of TDs in their spawn. And the Bat Chat's yoloing quite aggressively over on this side here. Is this yo gonna give me some side shots? Maybe a lower plate shot there? Okay, yeah. See, as you can tell, when it comes to accuracy, sometimes the, um... Sometimes the prog isn't the best. Let's aim for the fuel tanks here. Alright, one fuel tank shot. Alright, Mr. Mr. Mirato, do you want to give me any more damage here? Or are you going to just run away? WZ might be looking for me. Looks like he's running away. That's fine by me. So he can't push in on me anyway, so I'm gonna push it back for this bat chat here if possible. Okay. Maybe not possible. As long as I average roll, this bat chat will struggle. So one track shot into him just to bait his shell. Let's just try and track him again here. One incredibly low roll there. It's high explosive kill. There we go. And if the bat chat doesn't pick up this clear here, I will. Nice. Okay. Well, that was fine. One high roll, one roll, roll, one max roll. That's all I needed. Ooh, hello, 26. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I shouldn't sit where I was last spotted. He might blind fire it. That would not feel very good. Not a 268 blind shot. Ooh, that's not good. I'm gonna wait back a little bit. Just a moment here. We actually have a lot of lower HP targets, so it's not concerned about. Okay, there's the 268. Hoo wee, this gun at distance, man. This gun at distance can be something truly special. Okay. So, as my gun is trolling me at distance here, no you don't object, no you don't object, no you don't. I'm gonna pull it up right behind you. I'm just gonna take some safe pathing here in order to get closer to the enemy tanks. There we go, putting them in a bit of a crossfire here in just a moment's time as well. Hello, Mr. Object. One shot into Mr. Object. Two shots into Mr. Object, and let's get a third shot in, hopefully, before the other object tries and kills me. Sir, you, you are getting yellowed from behind by a rat chat. I would consider shooting the rat shot first. Nice. All right, not bad. 3,400 damage. I mean, not a crazy game, but kind of a weird battle, to be honest. I, I thought for sure they had TDs back there when I saw Leo, like, down to half HP. I guess my man just took a few shots from the bat shot there. So I was playing a little too cautious for no reason. I could have just YOLO'd there and got more damage off on the 62. But, um, you know what? Yeah, you didn't do a lot. But you, you came and helped us push bedside, and you picked up four kills. And, you know, I kind of respect it. I tried that yesterday in the Yak, pushing bedside, except my meds sucked a lot, and it didn't go well. But uh, <laughs> I appreciate when someone when players provide a little bit extra support on that med site. Maybe you could teach Fanus how to use HE properly. Potentially. Mm. So, Fanus, how is uh, how's it's the day going? Hope well. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Thank you very much. Had a couple good games, so I'm pretty satisfied with today. <laughs> Has the matchmaking been fixed yet? Not yet. Not yet. I I, I kind of wish it did, but it, it, it will, I believe, next update. And yay, rejoice. That means you guys can start playing pubs again. Good stuff. Okay. I'm going to go spot mid. That's usually what I like doing on this map. I'm not a fan of taking caves, especially in a tank that doesn't have the most turret armor. Not a great idea. And so... I'm going to go for them early spots here on the yo. Let's put a quick shot into him and just pull back. Safe pathing is like this. Hug the rock. Wait about 10 seconds for your camera to reset. And then casually pull down and out. Now, my team is going town. We have a couple guys going mid. No one else has been spotted, so I'm actually going to relook at the town for crossfires. Mid and crossfires. That WZ is probably a little overextended up there. Not much I can do unless I want to sit back there with them. But I think it's going to be a lot better for me to push on over here with my allies and start dealing with like the VK and stuff. And so we'll get that flank going and see if we can cook up on the flank. At least that's the plan. That's why I like mid, by the way. Very easy to make a quick rotation out if you want to. Hmm. Is that VK alive or AFK is the real question. And the real problem that we're going to face here is the unspotted TDs. So 
I'm maybe going to push through the ditch here a little bit. This, this VK might give me some nice rear shots. Now, we still have to watch out for the 183 and the Jaeger Roo. That could still be a massive problem. Found ourselves a Jaeger Roo over here. Jaeger still hasn't quite noticed me. Frogs on movement dispersion doing what it does, which is um, miss most of the time. I'm fine with that. All right, Mr. Yo is kind of stuck in the open here. There's the E4 as well. One quick shot to Mr. E4 here. Not really sure what Mr. E4 is planning, but okay, I'll take it. And we should be able to pick up a play on this dude at the moment. Oh, okay. I was waiting for my third shell to come back, but uh, he, he took care of himself for me. All right, if this E4 pushes up and looks away, that's bingo for me. Free damage. I do want to watch out for that Yag's positioning there, but uh, if I get a free shot or two in, I'll take it. All right, one more free shot, please, before you wonder. mark. Oh my gosh! Ah, spasiba, starova brat, bratishka. Molodietsky, kras, krasavi, krasav, chik, interesno tibia, smatrit, di ares. Oh, ochin spasiba, ochin spasiba, bashoy. Thank you very much for the donation there. I, I understood about 80% of it. 80% of it. Uh, 20%... 20% uh, not so much, but I got the, I got the big words down. That's what matters. <laughs> I'm sorry my reading's not as good. I haven't practiced my uh, reading Cyrillic as often lately, so I sound like a complete bot now when I'm trying to read Cyrillic. Ay ay ay. All right, quick and easy clear on this man's here. <laughs> so Fanis, hello hello hello. All righty, what do we got here? Mm hmm, a wild yag, the last one standing. Well, don't, don't, don't mind if I do shoot at you a couple of times here, good sir. Okay, it's dead. 3,000 damage dealt. I mean, not too much I can do with that game. He called you a cutie. <laughs> uh, no, no, not, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. It was, it was mostly compliments. Not, but not, not cutie. He, 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 he didn't call me cutie. <laughs> no, no, no crassiva uh, uh, for me. <laughs> uh, unless... Um, uh, no, 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 yeah, it's, it's like, it's like, hello, bro, um, excellent. Oh, wait, no! I'm so, yeah, Krasav, Krasavchik, Krasavchik is, is kind of cutie. You're right, you're right, he did call me a cutie. <laughs> uh, so, and then, like, um, interesting. Yeah, okay, I see, it's interesting that I knew. Okay, okay, I, I got the context down. I got the contents down. Uh, Ochin, Ochin, Spasiba, uh, that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's cute, cute, handsome. It's kind of like the same meaning. Yeah. Gosh, I'm surprised I still remember. It's been quite a few years since I've uh, actively um, studied on my own. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go. I, I had, I know my pronunciation was probably terrible there, but hey, at least I got the context down and that's what, that's what's most important. Context matters. All right, trading with the 57 never a smart idea. So let's not do that again, guys. That's very silly of me. I'm gonna wait for this Leo to maybe overextend a little bit on our 113. I'm just gonna hide here and uh, wait for this man to make a bit of a mistake. Let's see if we can do that real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect track shot maybe. Not quite able to hit the track shot, but we do get the one nice sneaky shell onto him. Sadly, did not make him a one tap, but I don't know why the 113 is just running away. He could stay here and help support us on this side. Instead of running away. Running away is kind of silly there. Okay, this Leo's definitely going to poke again. I can smell it in the air. He's that type of player. He's that type of player. Once once we clear Leo, this is easy. Easy sauce game play here. But I got to wait for him to do something. There's the Vickers. He's not quite going to pull off the hill, I think, right? The Vickers might have dropped off. I should watch out for that. Oh, he just barely peeked it. And spotted me. Okay. 57 still looking. Dude, this 57 has no other ambition than to stare at me all game. Alright, quick shot to the tracks there. Dude. Okay, teammates, you could totally push up and help me out right about now. Like, please, please. So you're telling me this 57 sat here staring at this wall for like an entire minute straight. I know I'm doing the same, but for me, I have to try and clear out this Leo. That's really important for my team's win. I gotta get out of here in case the Vicar starts flanking. That would be bad for me. And I, I would rather not die to a flanking Vickers light tank. Badger's a problem. Ooh, this is so bad. Did I get spotted? Please don't, please don't have me spotted yet. Okay. So... Oh, there he is. Just as I predicted, the Vickers is indeed flanking. But I am at least safe now. I'm at least safe now for the time being. For the time being being the key, being the key word here. 
because my allies are busy losing their tanks left, right, and center. Best thing I can do right now, maybe, is to... I think we're going to lose this game, guys. I, I, I think we ain't winning this, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we ain't winning this. My team went in counter cap, as you can tell, which is what I say to never do. And uh, this is the result. This is the result of going in counter cap. Is your whole team being dead? All right, upper plate ricochet, please. Nice, one ricochet. Let's go for some track shots here. Not quite able to get the track shot. All right, upper plate. Now, no, nothing I can do. Oh my gosh. I got 3K damage out there. We have um, Pete over here, the T22, providing zero support. Oh, look at that. Look at that. A whole re and 2 and 5B push past and counter cap instead of helping us hold hill. And they both died there. They managed to not even kill the tier nine M103 out. So we had three dudes over here. The 183 in a bad cover position. I don't know what the 113 type were doing. They, they could have provided a little bit better support there. But um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's just what happens. We had the bad spawn and we had particularly bad teammates. They got brained on by an M103 and a 183 sniping in the back. I think that's all it was. That's, that's all it was. <laughs> Your rush is still pretty good. Thank you. It's, it, it's, it's been better. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Five players did sub 900 damage. That, that explains the loss. That would explain the loss. The stream I've been waiting for for a long time. Thank you. My pleasure, Wrench Jeff. My pleasure. I am. I hope you will enjoy. And if you're, how long? How long has that been on? When did I? When did I turn that on? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Change your name again. What do you mean, button? There was no, there was, that was not like YouTube. I'm pretty sure that wasn't YouTube tunnel, personally. I think the 57 just was afraid to poke the 23, so he decided the best play for him was just to sit on that corner staring the whole game. Um, you know, which is fine. It worked out in the end for him. I was hoping he was like rotating around because he wasn't spotted for like a minute there, but ah, but he was still sitting there. Uh, and I knew that Vickers Light was going to try and drop down for me. I probably should have, if I managed to cross faster, I might have been okay there, but. It's okay. It's okay. There's not too much I can do when a team is going to basically make all the wrong plays on the mines. You, you really can't do anything about it. So you just got to You got it. You got to take the L, you know? All right. Hello, Mr. Vickers. One ricochet from Mr. Vickers light here. Oh my goodness. That shot did not go where I wanted it. That's fine. I got the one zero trade in here. So that's good for me. Now I just got to play it down low a little bit. Fortunately, the Vickers has like 50 less alpha damage than me and he doesn't even have the best penetration in the world. So that's, that's kind of a W. Alrighty. Oh, but he actually has a much more accurate gun. And okay, so he's aiming like dead center. Man's just penned my mantlet. Man, like the top of my what? How did he even pen that? The top of my what the heck is that? Well, that's weird. What that? What's the 183 doing? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. We've already lost an ally here. Ain't no way. Alright, one track shot. Oh come on, hit the track shot already, you silly game. Anyways, I got a 183 problem here to deal with. All right, one shot into him there. Nice, he gets taken care of. Okay, W. So, really bizarre start to this game. 183 got lit up right off the bat. Fortunately, though, their team is playing this out a little bit awkward. Prog might yellow in behind me next. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the Vickers light. I'm gonna wait for the overextend slightly, maybe. Whoa, hurry, chill, 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 buddy. Hello, Vickers. One track shot into you, good sir. I don't think you're getting away with it twi- Okay, this thing's shell velocity must absolutely suck. My goodness, how am I missing these shots? Oh, he's distracted. He's distracted. He just fired. One more shot into you, Mr. Vickers Light. Okay, how's my squad looking from behind me? Okay, I'm gonna have to like- Alright, they're pushing on the 77752 here, which might not be a bad idea. Or clear out the Vickers Light, one of the two. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna focus on this enemy prog for starters. Ah, the prog armor profile is insane. Okay, apparently, oh my gosh, 330 on the kill. 330 on the kill. Do I get the ram kill at least? So apparently the uh, the other TD is just going to sit there and shoot at me. That's cool. Oh my goodness, what are my teammates doing? I don't know where the Yag is, so I'm trying to take it easy. I'm going to wait till I'm unspotted and just see if I can escape over here in order to eventually deal with this Vickers Light when he gets aggressive on our 183, which is my goal right now. Nice, okay. So you're going to poke the 183 now, right? No, he's not going to poke the 183. Very interesting play. Okay. So, what's he, where is he going? He's going down low. He's going down low. Interesting. Okay. 
So he's not even going to retake corner there. I'm going to see if I can put myself in a position to start doing anything about this game. But this game is not looking too good for my allies. In the slightest. Well, what's left of my allies, that is. 752 must have escaped. I feel bad making the 1 3 do all the spotting, but there's not. Okay, let's see. The M103 is a one shot. 752, I think, is a two shot. Vickers is a two shot. I can only take two shots in return from any of these players here. Oh my gosh, my chef! Thank you very much for the 10 gifted subs. Really appreciate that. Okay, okay. We got some information here on what. 752 escaped all the way. He did. Thank you very much, Rinch Jeff, for the donation. Good job. Good, nice clear by our 1A3 there. I'm probably just going to chill right now because our 1A3 is bound to get yelled by someone eventually, sooner or later. And I want to be able to counter that when that happens. So, I'm going to set up camp kind of in the middle of the map for now. We have three minutes to win this game still. Three minutes to win, not three minutes to draw, boys. Remember, it's always after the win. Yo, 1A3, you're a go! Uh, Assassin, 480! W. Yeah, yeah, I got you, man. I got you. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wait for that M103 to pull up. Nice, nice, nice. I'll get the M103. I'll get the M103 here. One shot to the M103. Come on, three seconds. One, two, three, four, five. No! I needed that to clear. I needed that clear shot really badly there. One, two, three. Be really careful. If you take one more shot, I'm gonna wait for my camera to reset. I don't know where this Yag is. He could be AFK. He could be sniping. Uh, for all I for all I know. Oh snap! There's the Yag. All right, one, eight, three. It's on you. It's all on you, my 1A3. W 1A3 player. W in the chat for this 1A3, dude. And this 1A3 is actually the GOAT. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you, buddy. I'm going to play with this 1A3 here. If this Yag pulls up all the way. All right. One shot to the Yag here. Oh my gosh. 1A3, you are insane. This 1A3 carried. This 1A3 carried. I didn't do anything. This man's carried. Absolute mad lad. Well played, 1A3. For the great streams, enjoy the membership, folks. Best stream. <laughs> Aw, that's very kind of you, Red Chef. Once again, thank you very much for the members. And if y'all uh, did receive a membership from French Chef, make sure to send your thanks in the chat because it's, uh, yeah, you get access to some emojis and a cool badge and stuff like that. So, W, W. I need to get like a W emote so we can have W's and L's. That big W and big L. Maybe I'll add that to the emote list, emoji list. Well, as well as more fun emotes there. All right, that was a good game. Maybe uh, a couple more, uh, one or two more. Uh, to the ones who does a good job. <laughs> yeah, Molodyets and Krasav, Krasavchik have kind of the same meaning. Yeah, I, I, I am, uh, I am familiar with with uh, I'm quite familiar with that word. And uh, Krasavchik, I, 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 Krasavchik just kind of threw me for a bit of a twist there, but yeah, uh, that does make sense. Uh, kind of the same meaning is like, well done. Thank you, <laughs> by the way, for the donation and everything. Do appreciate it. All right. Mm, 30, wow, I'm getting some deja vu from my bat chat game, dude. There's literally a 30B here. Do they have a Kara as well? No, but they have a TVP. Low key, kind of like, uh, Really? That little bush? Okay, that's a Chieftain Mark VI. Chieftain TVP and AMX 30B. Interesting. I'm gonna act like I'm running away, but I'm actually just gonna go back to my hold on position here. Try and get safe. Wait for that 30B or something to... Oh my gosh, that's a 405 as well. You know, I probably should just run away before their whole team starts yellowing in here. Let's focus out the TVP first, because TVPs love to get really yellowy. And they're nasty when they yellow, so one more shot. So, comp fans, I'm so sorry to say this, but you're gonna be the bait that lets me escape here, buddy. You're gonna be, you're gonna be the bait here. I hate, I hate to do, I hate to do you like that, buddy, but, uh, not a whole lot of alternatives, you know? Also, I'm still gonna take some damage here, but it could be worse. I will at least get out alive. That's what matters. Whee! Yeah, keep chasing me down, Chieftain. That's a great idea, dude. Oh my gosh, this Chieftain might actually hit another shot to me if he gets up on the hill in time. Not today, Mr. Chieftain. And he's rolling down now. Lovely. So that, uh, that was great. We have, um, a lot of players yellowing in behind us now, and there's not really much I can do about this, to be honest. There's the 4005. The Yag is gonna be such a big problem for my team to deal with. My gosh, the Yag is a huge problem. Our whole rear is in the open, too, by the way. Our whole rear is in the open. Okay, he wanted to just fire his gun here. Oh, snap, that 45 still shots on me. Dude, this game is just so Jover already. There's nothing I can do. I'm just gonna accept the L. Why'd I play another game? 
these dudes took like 10 million years in order to clear out that side. Which is the whole reason why we're gonna lose this now. Maybe. I can stay alive, maybe not. Okay, Yag just fired his gun. So I might have time to get safe. No, there's nowhere even for me to get safe from this Yag, dude. It's just Jover. It's just Jover here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This game wasn't even close. There's nothing I can do, man. They had a Chieftain, a 4005, a 30B, and a TVP just all YOLOing med side. It was just me, Confenzer, and one Project of the med. Is good, but to me is not really flexible. <laughs> but that's good for you. Not really flexible to just start looking in the middle. Thank you, Lazan, uh, for the donation. Uh, no, I think the Prochetto is quite flexible. The uh, only case where it's not flexible probably is like if you're trying to play it as a, as a hold on purely tank or you're trying to play like frontline against heavies in a town. There was nothing I could do that game, man. Our 263 cooked, our VK did okay. Our, I mean, that's the problem though, man. All it took was our Yag sitting there doing zero and our 263 doing 260 doing less than me somehow for us to lose that. I, I should have just abandoned dunes immediately. The moment I saw the Chieftain, it went through my mind, but I was like, if it's just a Chieftain, we can take it. But once the 405 popped in, I'm like, oh, it's Jover. Hello, Fluffy Tracks. Good to see ya. All down here is even <laughs> more relentlessly positive than fatness. Yeah, I am old sometimes. I don't think I've seen Hold Down Hero negative once. <laughs> you may need to turn gifts on. I don't know if I have... Are gifts a thing on YouTube or I don't think yet? You have the emojis, which you guys should have access to if you're members in the channel. The, the HDRF specific emojis as well as the YouTube ones. Um... I'm green. Lol. <laughs> Imagine being green. Okay. Let's see. Prog, Patton, E50M. Really, the only tank I'm super concerned about is the Patton there. But anyways, for the most part, the Prosciutto has been really good and consistent. I really enjoyed it. We've had a lot of, like, very decent games in it. A couple bad games here and there. That was probably one of the worst games that was outside of my control. Like, the previous two bad games out in this tank were just purely because I made silly positional plays instead of just setting up for a farm, which the Progetto's, let's admit, Progetto's a lot better kind of setting up for farm, not proxied, right? Okay, let's see if we can spot up any tank destroyers over here. Just trying to see if I can spot up any TDs. Not yet. So that's interesting. Our heavies are... Our heavies are being useless. You have a Kronwagen, dude. Why didn't you cross the corner? I'm not really sure why, but I'm going to try and back out safely here a little bit. I don't think we're going to have anyone pushing into A cap, fortunately. Okay, Patton misses a shot. I managed to hat snipe him in return. W, Patton definitely overextended there a little bit, and he paid the price. So, we can keep playing the inside of this ridge a little bit here. One of the whole reasons here, I do have to watch for that Chieftain, though. The Chieftain could still be a problem, which I'm concerned about him overextending to shoot me. But, you know what? The enemy teammates are already, or enemy teams are already starting to kind of get briefed here a little bit. This whole is just pre-aiming. It'd be silly of me to poke a whole re Oh, there's the BZ as well. All right, BZ spot in the open. Pre-aim that a little bit. There we go, 372 aside there. All right, maybe AP. Hmm. I think that'll go in, to be honest, through the roof of his turret. Got cap for him, my nose again. This is fantastic stuff. All right. Do we know if that Hori is still just sitting here? I swear, if he's still sitting here, I'm gonna be like, bruh. Okay, perfect. Hori decided to not continue sitting here. One shot into my man's over here, and uh, yeah, this game's already over, basically. Their, their whole team was doing the big silly. The big old silly, which is um, dying. All right, let's make up a clear on this dude, as long as I don't low roll him. <laughs> scammed myself by saying that. I actually scammed myself by saying that. As long as I don't low roll him, sure. Oh wait, this is a this is a this is a big mistake. Oh no, that was a big mistake. Um, when the heck did the 183 get such good traverse speed? My gosh, why the heck does the 183 have such good traverse, my dude? And why couldn't my tank out traverse them there? There's no way. Silly, silly, silly. The BZ had the nuke me there too. One HP though, man. I tell you, the odds of you rolling, the odds of you rolling a perfect roll to Lisa on a one HP are like near impossible, and yet I see it almost every single time I play. I, I, I definitely have to know about what type of wacky algorithm that is that causes you to occasionally just leave someone on one HP, because it happens on the regular, man. Like it happens way too often to be true RNG. Alrighty. 
Especially with a tank that has like 350 alpha damage, like mine. Oh my goodness, this is not good. We gotta kill the BZ here. That that's for that's for sure for starters. Need to wait for the 57 to maybe push in. Okay, this dude just shot. Nice. The E4 should be able to clear him out with the STB here, I think. I think BZ respotted me. That's unfortunate. STB, you got the clear? W STB. Good stuff there, dude. Alright, do we know where this 57's at? <laughs> Not the most fun game, that's for sure. Oh, he's all the way back there in Narnia. Let's go. Okay. If he shoots at all. He hasn't fired yet, but if I push him from above, I'll be good. That's what I'll do. I think the 57 has the same idea. Okay. Funny, funny, silly game. Nice low roll. Dude, tell me about it. There's actually an algorithm that makes you low roll. I swear. On the on the kill shots in particular. There has to be. There's no way this is just random. I don't really care if I die at this point. At this point, my only concern is the extra damage I can farm up. <laughs> I got to like 3.6 there. 3.5, I guess. 1.5 hour stream gone mad. Well, it is an hour and a half. You're right. And you know what that means, guys? You know what that means? That was an okay last game. STB cooked. Of course, it's an STB. He's going to cook up there, especially haul down. And he was just kind of casually farming while I was sitting back. I don't want the Hori to nuke me. That's why. But, all right. Let's get ready to wrap things up with real quick. Let's let's do the good old-fashioned Yeager stuff. Love your gameplay, bro. Thank you very much, Spartan. What be? Appreciate it. Everyone tell Fanis to go into Tommy's training room. No. No. Not going to go into a training room. <laughs> I am a big defender of Progetto. Oh, I really do like the Progetto. Like, we had a few bad games, but for the most part, I think we're pretty consistently pulling 3,500 plus, plus, you know, some 6,000 damage games as well. Hey, Maria, by the way, good to see you. Hey, Fantas, will you ever play comp again? Very unlikely. I, I, you know, I initially played comp because it was kind of fun, but then I went on to play comp because I really liked my team, and that's kind of like just continued having me play with them. But as Rain basically doesn't play Blitz anymore, let alone comp, that's it's kind of unlikely I will return. Um, you know, if my whole team magically returns, which is maybe a 0.05% chance, P value of 0 0.005 uh, or 0.05, it's it's not it's probably not gonna happen. It's probably not gonna happen to be honest. Let's see. All right, let's let's cook. Let's cook a game in the 183 and chillax. Okay. Well, maybe not chillax. Maybe we'll have a terrible time. No one's spotting the bottom side of the map, by the way. You know what that means? It means get the heck out of here before I'm nuked. Okay, maybe he's alone? He's dead. That's what he is. Whoa, that's a waffle. I don't like how little vision we have this game. I'm super concerned about that flank there. All right, do you think this waffle pokes up again? There's a chance he could. He did, but kind of late. Oh yeah, yeah, pull for it. Why? Why? Anyhow, just as I anticipated, tanks are popping up behind us. That's what I was kind of expecting and waiting for. Alrighty, let's see what I can do about this now. Oh, oh wow. Ooh, that's a 405 pushing in behind us, guys. That is a 405. I don't think he has any support over on heavy side either. Oi, oi, oi. Cross, cross, cross. No, he won't respond to me. He won't cross now. Oh, no, 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 no. Pull forward again. Pull forward again. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. No! You si oh my gosh, he doesn't even have a spall liner, man. Really? Oh, the standard B is so lucky. Let me just send the open in front of a 183. Yeah. I want my fun game. I want my hash shells, but I've been scammed twice now. Oh my god, and my allies are all farming an AFK now. Of course they are. Of course they're farming an AFK. So I won't be able to get any farm on that dude at all. Oh, come on, gun! Oh, the 183 paint. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second here. Once that Yag's down, it's gonna be one versus it's gonna be two versus three over here. Probably not the best scenario to be stuck in. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. At this point, I'm just getting scammed. At this point, I'm just getting scammed here. I should be faster than the C100 at least. 
At this point, I was just getting scammed. What the heck was that, dude? What, what, what the living daylights was that RNG? What in the tar nation was my it? AP, I guess. Holy smokes, man. The standard V is so lucky, man. Like, what was that? Honestly. What on earth is this Minerazzo trying to do here as well? Buddy is excessively getting aggressive for me here. Maybe my one last chance to deal some damage here this game. Yeah. Nope, the water's looking for me now. Oh my gosh, okay, we cannot leave on this diabolical RNG fest of a game. <laughs> Unless Moe's back. If Moe comes back and Fidu plays, I'll consider it. <laughs> oh man, that was a... Dude, that standard V is so lucky. What? Like, what is that dude's RNG? Flat full side shot, I understand. The full roof of his turret with premium hash, that is completely gray, not a speck of red. That one still managed to only splash for 600. When you three gun, it's normal to troll you. Yeah, but not that bad. Also, the entire miss on the side of the standard B as well. Like, bruh. Brother was getting trolled that game. 907, 140, and a bat shot. Hmm. Why does it have to be this map, man? I want one good fun game in the 1A3. And of course, it has to be this map and my team has to have a medium light tank deficit. So, you know what that means. I gotta go play med support now. Hippie hooray. This will be a whole lot of fun. Maybe I'll sit back and snipe. I don't usually like doing this, but sometimes like in a scenario like this where they have a lot of medium lights, but all pretty light. I want to be able to support my teammates more directly in case they just YOLO over. That can happen quite often. If after like a minute or two they haven't yellowed, I'll push up. Hold up. Wait a minute. I didn't even know this was an angle you could have. Okay, aim, aim, aim. Stop moving, stop moving. Perfect. Not perfect! Oh my gosh, yeah, just go all the way to the left of my reticle. Okay, thank you, gun. You had the hole. The whole reticle to go to, and I had to go to the left side instead of the right side. Nice meme. Now that dude's never gonna poke there again after getting splashed by 1A3. At least, one would think. Never mind. Oh, what is he doing? Oh my gosh, this, these players are so unpredictable. That's why I hate sniping at this garbage tank, man. It's only good when you can point blank shotgun people. I thought that he's 75 was gonna continue pulling forward, so I'm like, I'll just pre-aim that a little bit. But no, 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 he's just gonna stop in the he's just gonna stop in the middle of the hill there. Ay ay ay. Sometimes it's like impossible to predict the movements of players, and you just have to guess. Especially if you're sniping at long range in a 1A3, you have to guess. Dude, it's such a waste of time. I get to kill this little little piggy here. Enemy destroyed. Third time's the charm, eh? Yeah, I'm not really worried about the 907. I need my damage, man. Well, 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 what do we got here? If it isn't a wild little bash shot to yawn. And right about there. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my gosh, I was almost right. Dude, these game this game's already over. What the heck? Yeah, I'm not farming anything in this battle. Unless I can get some farming to this bat chat before it's too late. But I might just APM. Hesh might not even be worth it here. <laughs> oh wow, 1900 damage again. 93, do you mind not trolling me so hard? Oh my goodness, wait, 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 wait a second. Nope. Oh wait, cross on me. Cross on me, Badger. Use me as a bridge. <laughs> what are these games, man? Scam. Scam! I need one nuke in the 1A3. By the way, I haven't gotten a single uh, hash nuke so far. Come on, 1A3. Stop being a trash piggy. Hmm. Let's try this loadout. Maybe the gun will be, be more behave. Will behave better. <laughs> Just tried the strain. That's a funny looking for Shadow 65. Oh yeah, that's because I'm about to finish things up here. That 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 would be why. Uh, but we do have about an hour and close to an hour and 40 minutes, about hour and 35 minutes or so of Progetto. Is that the same? Is that the same Carlos from earlier? Carlos in the E100? Is that my good friend Carlos in the E100? Hmm. 
Okay, we gotta do it. It's it's like on principle, this is something I've always gotta do at the start of this other game on this map. Also, I probably will go town. I have a feeling there you is gonna go town. Can't be bothered. Alright. Well, if anyone's missing a thousand hit points, we know why. Maybe. Or maybe I just ate into the side of a Kron's tracks and just never penned them. That would also be a possibility. That's kind of amusing. The Kron's in a safe position. The CC Mark II is probably about to have a terrible day here in a moment. If he's pulling, if he pulls all the way this way, that is. Come on, pull forward a little bit more there, buddy. Pull forward a little bit more there, buddy. Yo, yo, don't, don't, don't do that, yo. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess their team's kind of split up. Maybe. Maybe I just yell the Kron instead, man. No, that's probably going to be the play. Yellowing the Kron instead. I mean, this mouse gets out of my way here. Mouse! Oh my, you silly mouse! Oh my... Yeah, okay, you know, I hope I hope you get full farmed by this 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 um CC over here. There we go. Alright, how much damage do I have? 1200. No, my blind shot didn't hit. Well, I got my one hash shell, guys. Let's go. Okay, my teammates are getting wrecked on the hill. That's to be expected, all things considered. Can our conqueror bait them off of the hill and give us farm though? That's the real that's the real question of the day. If our Conqueror can bait them down, we might be able to cook here. Let's see. Firstly, where's the C100 at? Oh, found him. Okay, you know what? Oh, sure. Sure, any high rolls the living daylights out of me. Uh, teammates. Oop, let's angle up a little bit there. Oh, of course. That's not just a ton of B cap here forever, guys. Oh, no, our E3's gonna get wrecked crossing into the cap here. Hmm. I should have shot. I should have just chucked a head shot at his lower plate there, to be honest. Probably would have been the smarter play to make. Oh, 33's toast already. Great. I'm just gonna go protect A, maybe? Maybe I don't have to protect A. Maybe I should just get back even further. That might be the better play, to be honest. Just get back. Sit in Narnia, and let's see. Too bad our E3 tried to take hill. That was really silly. We had double cap. All we have to do is hold and fret and force him to push into us, and it's, it's over. But, um, since my man's tried pushing up there, we are down one very heavy tank we could use in town. Hmm. And our mouse is in a terrible position. Really? Yo? So our mouse is also in a terrible position here. Still, they're, they're gonna go for A sooner or later. When that happens, I'll be here to stop it. All right. Oh, come on! Really? Team. Lewis, Lewis, come help me on encounter cap, Lewis. Please kill the type 61 when he crosses in for me. That's all I ask of you. Thank you. Turret armor goes burr. Not quite. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's see what, let's see what, let's see what, let's see what our... <sighs> Why do they push out of town? I don't get it. Why do they have to push out of town? We ha our full HP mouse just sat there and died. And if our object had, um, recapped A there, maybe we would have had a chance. I don't know. Oh, the cop found, oh, KPZ dead. We, we, we don't have cap points, sadly. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be too late with the caps where they're at. Why can't I just have a final fun game? I think it's a different car though, so this one's actually doing pretty well. Mind you, he just sat on the hill all game and relied on his teammates to get capped instead of trying to make sure his team didn't get capped out. Almost kind of threw that, Loki. If our E3 and Mouse hadn't YOLO'd out of town when all they had to do was sit on A cap and B cap, right? Also, if I hadn't gotten scammed on the kill shot on the Type 61, we might have been able to win that. Like, gosh, this gun is hating me right now. I don't think that I don't think this equipment makes any difference, to be honest. I still prefer this loadout. Although supercharge, nah, nah, supercharge is not even worth it. <laughs> How do you know Russian, by the way? Um, growing up, I knew quite a few Russian speakers locally, and I was quite active in um, 
are you uplit streamer chats at one point uh, a couple a few years ago like um you know like ufinja nikes those players and so i kind of picked up on a lot of lingo just from listening to their commentary while watching them play if that makes sense and sometimes i would say something silly in chat and they would correct me <laughs> that was my whole learning process by the way but i i kind of stopped watching blitz content a long time ago so more more of my exposure to the um russian language kind of just dipped after that right because i'm not i'm not like listening to it actively trying to interpret it in my brain anymore and i'm not trying to like type it out and communicate as, as often just because i i kind of just ceased watching blitz content altogether <laughs> if i gotta watch something I, i'd rather it be a little bit uh different than blitz which i I've, I've played and watched for too many years all right let's see enemy team being very aggressive here that's gonna be their downfall by the way Nice. This game already has so much potential here. Not today, Fosh. This game has a lot of potential. Really silly, aggressive gameplay by the enemy team here, as you can tell by one of their players already getting nuked. Look at the 50B. Oh, oh look at the little 50. Ooh, is, the, is the 50B going to poke me again? The little 50B going to poke me. Oh. Bro, why are you pulling forward instead of... Bro, these players make no sense. Like, I thought he was just going to back up the safety. Nah, but he starts pulling forward again. What, is it? what are these YOLOs? Like, I, I'm genuinely confused at what I am watching. Kind of don't want to take that, but our prog was too passive, so I had to just push in. Plus, we're getting flanked a little bit here, so... I need to make sure I'm there to assist my teammates when necessary. Good, good. Okay. Ooh, we... Oh, the possibilities are endless. The possibility. Please, no one shoot this WZ. Please, no one shoot this TI2. Please. They stay there TI2 in the open and no one shoot at them. That's my dream. I think where's the enemy 183 at, though? Wait, he did not spot me yet. He did not spot me yet. He did not spot me yet. Oh, come on. Max roll? Why? Why? Why couldn't you have max rolled their game? Why not? If you'd just given me the max roll, your boy could have one-tapped him out of the game. I would have been satisfied. Oh my gosh. The game's already over. Look at that, guys. It's, it's, it's already Jover for us. There's no one else alive. What on earth are these YOLOs we're dealing with today, man? <laughs> I can't even... I don't even know what I'm watching. My goodness. Ivanis, do you, Rain, have any plans in playing tournaments again? Uh, not currently. Not currently. Hiker or, or Progetto 65? I would say Progetto 65 is a great option if you like to go cheap, which is basically free to play, but Kiro is still a very good tank as well. I would inevitably say if you can, get both maybe. Uh, they're both really good tanks. Okay, well, I got my Hesh shell in. I got my Hesh shell in. I guess I'll be satisfied there. Here, here's some Bobby to end things off with. Here, Bobby, say hi to the stream, entertain everyone. Because those last few 183 games were not cooking, man. I was getting scammed. Oh, they got a super chat. Progetto is good, but to me is not really flexible due to turret oh. located in Bobby, middle and have no turret armor Bobby, you silly kitty, stepping on the keyboard and causing the donation to go through again. I, there's, there's a shortcut on the keyboard, which basically ugh, allows the... Um, uh, re re replaces the donos through the system, through the uh, TTS there. And uh, Bobby stepped on it. What a silly kitty. What a silly kitty. As you can see, she's very interested in my iPad right now. She believes it is hers. She claims it as her own. A shred bobbit is yours. Now she is doing... Howie, come here. What you doing? Come here. Come here. What you doing, kitty? Stop being so silly. Come here. Come on, come say hello. There you go. Yeah, good, 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 good old-fashioned Bobby. This is a great way to end. Anyways, thank you so much, everyone, for dropping by today. It was great having you here, as always. Do appreciate the support. Uh, all the donations and members and everything. Thank you very much for all of that. And much dropping by and everyone who liked the stream and who was active in chat. Do appreciate that. Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby, what are you doing? What are you doing, Bobby? <laughs> Bobby, you're ruining my outro. What are you doing? Come on, you what is that? Oh, what? Oh, oh. Come say a. Oh, you muted the microphone too. Oh, fly away, kitty. Here you go. All right. 
that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you very much for dropping by. And from B and Miss Bobby. Okay, there we go. Take care. Have a great day. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.